In this video, I started out with zero dollars, a lawnmower, and a truck, and now I have the challenge of building a profitable landscaping business from scratch. But there's a twist. I only have a year to do it. Will I go broke or will I make it big? Stay tuned to find out. And if you guys enjoy content like this and you want to see more, be sure to subscribe and drop that like helps too. Anyway, let's go build a business. Well, boys, it is 7 a.m. I just made it into town here and I used the last $100 I had to fill up the truck with diesel. And now we got $0 to our name. I'm in a brand new town, no friends, no family, no money. And uh, you know what? Fuel prices actually aren't looking too bad. But who knows? We might be able to make it in this new town after all. I got my old Duramax that I bought off my grandpa when I turned 16, my lawnmower. That, uh, well, I think I found that one in a dumpster. But it's got a full tank of fuel, so let's see if we can uh, go find a mowing job or two. At least make us a bit of money for food and a place to stay tonight. Except now I'm just waiting at a red light. Now it's green. All right, so this looks like the residential area here. So many overgrown lawns. Oh, man. Well, it looks like I'm in the perfect spot to try and make some money. Well, that place has got a down tree in it. Okay, I might have to come back to that place later. You know what? It is early in the morning, but uh, I'm going to say screw it. Knock on this door and see if we can get a mowing job. Yes, hello, sir. I noticed your, uh, your grass was getting pretty long. I was wondering if I could, uh, mow it for you. All right, sounds good. I'll get right to work. Well, that was, uh, very unexpected. First place we pull up to, we get our first job. But you know what? I ain't gonna complain. This is perfect. So, this was actually a bigger job than I had anticipated. Now, we gotta mow all back here, up to kind of the property line of this other house, all around the garage back here, and all the front. And with the little post mower we have, hopefully we can get it all done. This is gonna take a little while. All right, let's fire this bad boy up and let's get to work yeah this is some thick grass right here so it's uh, a little bit challenging for the mower gotta move some garbage cans out of the way here first just trying to get uh, the outline of the house done if we can it's still pretty early in the morning so the grass is a little bit wet and pretty tough to mow which is not ideal hopefully once it warms up later in the day they'll make any other jobs if we happen to get any more a little bit easier this little push mower is like the perfect size to fit right in between the garage just barely look at this the grass is almost taller than my push mower no wonder it's struggling also, does no one here mow their lawns? Because it sure looks like it. Well, even this little front part here took me about 15 minutes because it's so overgrown and thick. It's actually kind of ridiculous. All right, progress report here. We got the whole backside done, and I should have just enough gas in the tank for the lawnmower just to finish this. Then we're going to have to go fill it up. But we've still got a little bit left here in the front. The guy told me just up to the pole here in the front is good. All right, last pass, and we are finished. Okay, so this took me roughly two hours. Oh, actually, you know what? There's one more little spot. Anyways, this took me roughly two hours here, so at 25 bucks an hour, which is the average rate for lawn mowing, this lawn was 50 bucks. I'm going to load my lawnmower up here real quick, and we'll go collect some money. Well, I told him 50 bucks, but he insisted on 100. He said the lawn was so overgrown, he's surprised I only charged him that much. But uh, hey, I'm not going to complain with 100 bucks. But we got to get fuel for the lawnmower now, so uh, we can try to get another lawn mowing job. Actually, before we head out to the gas station there, I'm going to stop at Tractor Supply. Got an idea. I'm going to grab a uh, jury can, or gas can, I guess. And then hopefully, we won't have to uh, make so many trips to the gas station. That's where I came at the perfect time. 10 bucks. I got myself a gas can. Also, a few other things. So a lot of Tractor supplies have these uh bulletin boards where uh people can post stuff for sale post ads pretty much whatever you want and uh i saw an ad for an old lawn mower it had a trailer and uh one of those lawn sweepers for 500 bucks now i don't have 500 bucks right now but in the future when we do get 500 bucks if it's still for sale i might have to go pick it up oh perfect green light and uh that bulletin board also gave me another idea i could post up an ad for my lawn mowing services as well so this might work out pretty good all right we'll get the gas can filled up along with the lawn mower i don't know how much this is gonna cost 20 bucks not too bad we're at 70 so that should get us something for lunch and hopefully a hotel room tonight well got myself some lunch that's another 10 bucks all right so i was just at the library here spent another five bucks and i made some ads to put up we're gonna go stick those up everywhere real quick and hopefully we should be getting some calls within the week so with my ads now put up around various places around town it was time to go and find some new work but not before i got stopped by the train and after heading across the river to the town next door i seen another neighborhood where of course i would find my next job and funny enough we'll working on this particular job, I secured not one other lawn, but two. We were mowing this entire block. And with the grass not as thick on this lawn as the last one, it definitely made things a lot easier. With the first house done, the lawnmower was basically out of fuel and needed to be filled up. So with our new jury can, we filled that sucker up and got to work on the next two lawns. The second lawn didn't take very long considering it didn't have much of a backyard. It was the third lawn that was a real doozy. The decent backyard, the garage, 
and a lot of side area, this one was gonna take a while. So I used the last of my gas can, and it was back to work. Well, boys, I believe that is about it. I'm just trying to finish up around this tree here. Just getting the last little bits. We ain't, we ain't gonna miss any. And my lawnmower just died. Okay, well, it's out of fuel. Well, there you go. I guess I had just enough to finish all three of these yards. I'm surprised I got all three, but I guess uh, I'll... All three people that live here in this little block here are all friends. They're like, oh, yeah, I want my lawn mode too. So it worked out great for me. It is now late afternoon, and I have spent pretty much all day here. This place was pretty big to mow. This one, it was not that bad at all, actually. But this one was a huge undertaking. And uh, if I want to keep up with this kind of clientele, I think they all said they wanted me to come back in about two weeks, mow their lawn again. I'm going to have to get that lawnmower or else I am never going to be able to keep up with this pace. Surprisingly, there's a lot more demand for lawn mowing than I thought. But that's a good thing. Everything altogether was about seven hours of mowing which was ridiculous, but there's a lot of land here. You got to think about that. And I'm only using a push mower. Now, if I had a ride on mower, it'd be a lot easier, but I'm going to go collect my money. And for seven hours at 25 bucks an hour, that should be about 175 bucks for my buddy. So that $500 goal is a long ways away. Well, I've collected all the money, as you can see, $400, which is of course a little bit more than 175. Um, she gave me 160, he gave me 80, and the dude at the end of the road also gave me 160. That brings us up to $455. Now, I ain't gonna complain about that, but we are out of fuel, so I gotta go spend some more money, get me some more fuel. Even though it don't look like it, it is late afternoon and I am absolutely bushed. I need to find a hotel. First, we need supper and fuel. Actually, there's a Casey's right there, and that's where I'm going. You can get both things there. Well, I spent 30 bucks, got everything fueled up, Got myself some supper. Let's go find a hotel. Perfect hotel right here. Well, boys, this is the next morning. Hotel was only 50 bucks, and I got breakfast there, which was perfect. Anyway, I was looking on Facebook Marketplace this morning, and I found an old chainsaw that uh, I think just needs a carb kit. It's for free, so we're gonna go pick it up. Then head on down to Tractor Supply, buy a carb kit for it, and uh, hopefully get it up and running. Because then that opens up a range of jobs, big time. All right. We're back here at Tractor Supply. I got the chainsaw, spent 25 bucks, got a new carb kit for it, and now it runs great. So we got ourselves a chainsaw. So first order of business this morning. I seen this property yesterday with a down tree. It has really overgrown grass. It's like right up the road here. And uh, we're gonna go see if we can work out a deal to, you know, get some work for him. Hello, I noticed your uh, grass is pretty overgrown there and uh, you got a down tree. Is there any chance I can interest you in uh, getting the lawn cut and taking away that tree they would be interested okay awesome all right that works good for me i'll uh, get to work well son of a gun people are just too nice here now, i know there's a dump not too far away from here where uh you can bring in trees and all that but i don't have a trailer all i have is the truck bed but it costs a dump fee only about five bucks but still i think first order of business is we'll get everything out of the back of the truck and then we'll get to chopping this up now that i have a chainsaw and i think with the money we get from this job, we should have just enough to get myself that little lawn mower. It'll be a little better than uh, having a push mower. All right, so I got everything chopped up real nice here. We're just carrying some of these smaller logs out. We'll get them chopped up a little more out here, and we'll get them all loaded up. Now, I'm going to try to load everything I can up into at least one load. If we don't have to take two loads, that's awesome, because then we don't have to pay another dump fee. That means more money for us, but I'll see what I can do. All right, this is what we got so far here. Uh, there's still this big old chunk back here. We're going to try get it. I managed to move Move it over just a little bit. We're going to try to cut it up into some smaller chunks. All right, there we go. Let's try to get this all loaded up. We'll see if we can fit it on there. Okay, I backed the truck up. This was uh, getting a bit much to carry everything over. Holy smokes. We did it. I wasn't taking no for an answer. I didn't want to pay a second dump fee, but we are loaded down. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Well, let's see if we can get this to the dump. Well, that's another 10 bucks down the drain for the dump fee, but we got the tree taken care of. Well, with that out of the way, now we get the fun task of mowing all this. Ah, uh, man, this is going to be a good time. I need that dad come mower already. Dang, looks like this dude has uh, what looks to be the start of like a super cool rat rod or something. Not too sure. But it is really cool, but we're making really good progress on this lawn. Not a whole lot left. Well, that should be the last of her. Oh, no, there's still one more strip up here. One more little tiny piece. This mower's got to be running low on fuel. Can't be much left in the tank. All right, load this all back up. We'll grab our money and, well, I guess we'll see if we can go get a lawnmower. Well, new one at least. Well, new to us. All right, so that job got us a hundred dollars. Now, that seems like a lot for this lawn, uh, but it was mostly because we had to cut up the tree, take that to the dump, had to charge them dump fee, all that other stuff. So, wound up to about a hundred bucks. Now, in theory, we don't have five hundred dollars to buy that lawnmower, but it's a good thing I'm a master negotiator. Okay, so I gave the guy a call. We're gonna go uh, check out the lawnmower there, and hopefully, I can get it for uh, less than four hundred bucks. 
Oh, shoot, red light, red light. Maybe not less then, but at least 400 bucks. Well, I'm pretty sure this is the place up here and it looks like it's up by the shop. Yeah, there she is. My ticket to more money and a successful landscaping business. So this is a John Deere 56. I, I guess, yeah, just, just 56. Um, it's got this little dump trailer on it along with uh, this lawn sweeper. Now, I don't know if he's around here. He should be coming out any minute now. I'm gonna try to get this thing for cheaper than 500 bucks. My goal is to get it for 350. Now this thing's pretty clean, so it's, it's gonna be a hard time negotiating that kind of a deal. Also, I may have not thought this through. I don't know how I'm gonna like transport this thing. I need a trailer, badly. <laughs> Holy smokes, boys. I think I just made the deal of a century. $350 for all of this, and he was asking 500. It's 150 bucks off. He said 350 bucks and you have to load it yourself, so. I guess I get to load this thing myself now. Um, I moved my lawnmower over as along with my gas can. I should have just enough room to get this thing in here. I hope. Oh yeah, this thing gonna work great. Can I just tow the, the trailer with the truck? We're gonna try that out. Um, I don't know if it's gonna work, but we'll try it out. Now, if we didn't have this lawnmower in here and the jerry can, we could probably make everything fit. Now, nope, that ain't gonna happen. Okay, is it sketchy? Absolutely. Do I care? No. Not one bit. It's gonna work. But no, I really do need a trailer because I can't haul this around like this all the time. Also, I found a place to rent and it's about a thousand bucks a month, all utilities included. Now, a hotel is 50 bucks a day. So that's more expensive than uh, renting a house. So hopefully in a little bit here, once we start making some more money, considering we now got a lawnmower that I can actually sit on and not walk around for, you know, hours at a time, I think we'll be able to make things work. Also, I need a trailer and the road I'm going down is closed. Well, boys, it is first thing in the morning here. I'm just about to fill everything up with fuel. Last video, I got a lawnmower and uh, a couple of little attachments in hopes that we'd be able to expand the business into some bigger lawns and of course make some more money but speaking of money we got minus fifty dollars for the hotel room and then we'll see how much fuel is i guess we can only fill up to 36 dollars well i just filled up and we spent a whole 30 dollars we're down to six dollars so we may be down to our last couple bucks here but another thing i did last video was put up some flyers for my lawn mowing business and we happened to get a couple calls so we're gonna go to those this morning Hopefully get those done and make some more money. Anyways, a lot of you guys suggested in the comments of the last video that I should up my wage, my hourly wage that I charge for mowing lawns. Uh, yeah, we were barely making any money and people were tipping so much anyway. I'm just going to up my rate and considering I'll be able to get the work done a lot faster now that I have a lawnmower, I think it's justified. All right, so we're just pulling up to our first job this morning. Now, our goal for today is to get a trailer and maybe expand on our equipment depending on how much money we make. Now, currently, uh, we've got everything sitting in the bed of the truck, which is not ideal. So I think a trailer would definitely help that out. But we don't got much time to waste, so we better get to work. All right, I'm excited. We get to try out a new lawnmower. The guy said it had fresh blades on it, so I guess we'll see how it cuts. Well, this is phenomenal. Okay, a heck of a lot faster than using the old push mower. Just gotta move this little tank out of the way here. Also, if I can this week, I'd really, really love to uh, get a place to live instead of living out of a hotel. Honestly, it's not ideal. So we made it to the backyard here. Now, there is a lot of junk around here, and uh, the owner said just to mow around it. But if I need to move it, I can. There's there's just a bunch of crap sitting around here. A bunch of random stuff. Okay, so mine is moving a few things here. Backyard is almost done. We still have a little bit of a chunk to do up in the front there. But so far, so good. Just gonna move all this out of the way. And I know the backyard looks like quite a mess right now, but uh, we still gotta run the lawn sweeper over it. They also did not want to pay for a disposal fee of the grass, so uh, we're just gonna dump it in a pile back here. Well, that's it for the backyard. Back in the front yard here, just gotta move some garbage cans. And we're just about finished with the mowing that is there's still a lot more work to be done okay yards finished and another thing remember i said i was going to charge by the hour for a lot of my mowing services and just about everything else well before i started the job i asked the clients if they would be interested in just paying a rate for the yard after i gave them a quote and they were happy with that so depending on the job i guess we'd make more or less just giving a quote versus the hourly rate but i think it's all going to work out just better but this new lawnmower is working absolute wonders it makes my job so much easier holy smokes that makes all the difference and my lawnmower is stuck trying to go over this anyways cleaning up all the grass clippings makes it look a lot better now we just got to do the backyard and done we'll dump this out here and go collect our paycheck my favorite part of the job oh man there's there's a lot of grass in here all right any day now you can you can quit it just keeps going i um yeah it, it's going more <laughs> this is ridiculous oh man okay finally finished uh 
Th there's a lot of grass. Set some chairs back. And we'll be good. Okay, all loaded up again. This is a massive pain in the rear to load this all up into a truck bed. Anyways, hopefully we can get a trailer soon. And there we go. $300. Now, if I charged an hourly rate, I only would have made $180. But charging a set rate, people are happier with it, it seems like. And, uh, well, I make more money. Okay, so I just stopped in at McDonald's to uh, get some food. Got myself a cheeseburger. That was five bucks. Anyway, I asked the McDonald's if they had anyone to mow their lawn, and they said uh, no. The last guy retired, so I said for the you know the nice little fee of one hundred and eighty dollars, I would be happy to mow their lawn. They agreed, and we're gonna get this done. I also said anytime I come here, I want free McDonald's. They of course agreed. After getting the McDonald's lawn mowed, I loaded up my lawn mower, collected my hundred and eighty dollars, then I hopped back in my truck to go across the river. After stopping in my local tractor supply to pick up some much needed sunglasses best 20 bucks i ever spent i'd seen an ad in the bulletin board for a trailer and we were off to go look at it after driving halfway across the countryside just to find this place we finally made it and after checking the trailer over we settled on a great deal of 350 dollars with our new trailer now acquired this would make things a lot easier and not long after getting back into town our mowing ad seemed to be paying off because i got a call for another house and after talking to the neighbor, we secured his house as well. Which, with how big the lawns were, this was going to be a pretty substantial payday. Okay, so the only sucky thing about this uh, new trailer is there's no ramps. So I kind of just have to take the lawnmower off like this. It does work. It's just a little bit frustrating. Eventually, I'll have to get ramps. But since we're doing both properties, I'm just going to go back and forth here the long ways. Because why the heck not? We also did the property right next door a little while ago. And I could not imagine trying to do all of this with a push mower that would royally suck as well get around the houses here while we have the chance but what's nice about this little tiny mower is you can get right next to the house so you don't even have to weed whip which i don't even have a weed whipper right now i should probably get one at some point but for now i think we're okay the mower may be small but we can absolutely cruise which is awesome i may have to get new blades for it eventually though gotta move some bins real quick here Cut those around back. Perfect. Man, these jobs are so much easier with a ride on versus that push mower. Also, the cut is also looking a lot better considering you can see the lawn that we mowed with a push mower. All right, finished off on this side. Just a little bit left in the front of this house and that should be it for the mowing. And we got to go around and rake all this. The lawn sweeper, that's going to take a while. All righty, that's it. That's all. Let's go grab our lawn sweeper. So they didn't want us to take the grass off property, take it to the dump, anything like that. So we're just dumping it in the back brush there, and it should be good. There's just a lot of it. All right, we're full. Let's go dump this off here. Check it out. Look how good the lawn's looking. Man, a lot better with this new mower and this lawn sweeper. Definitely going to have a lot more happy customers. But I think after finishing off these last two lawns here, we should have enough money to possibly go rent the place I want. That way I can actually have a place to stay and I'm not having to stay in a hotel every night, which does get very expensive. And that's all. Perfect. We'll get this all loaded up and I'm going to go collect my paycheck. Also, this lawn mower needs to be washed in like the worst way. It is extremely dirty. All right. First house, 450 and second house, I'm going to charge the exact same. There was a crap ton of grass here and it took a lot of time. So that's why it's so much. All right. And another 450 and with our first thousand dollars in the bank, I'm going to say we could go probably rent that house that I want or we could go buy more equipment. I think I need a house though. And by house, I mean tiny little apartment. Now, it might not be much. Here's the thing. I already talked to the landlord. He said I am free to put whatever I want back here or along the side. As long as it's not messy, so just lawn mowing equipment, pretty much whatever I need to, I can set it back here, which is perfect. We have this little kind of room here on the corner. It's nothing fancy, but it will work. It's already furnished. Now, the rent is $500 a month, so I had to pay a month in advance. But we'll be good for another 30 days. Now, since we can put some equipment on the side of the place here, got some ideas. To make my life a little easier, we're going to switch out some equipment here. Okay, I made it work. So basically, we have the lawn sleeper loaded in the front, mower in the back. It seems to fit in the trailer. Not the greatest. We kind of have to drive the mower up on here, but it will work. And since we don't really need the trailer for a whole lot of jobs, it's just going to sit back here. And I've also got the push mower and gas tank in the back of the truck. We're not having to unload the trailer and the lawn sweeper all at the same time. It's just easier this way. And we're right next to a gas station. How awesome is that?
Well, boys, I just left the house here and fueled up, so that is gonna be $40. So that puts us just under $500 to start the day here. I just got everything loaded up. It's all looking a little bit dirty. Uh, yeah, definitely gonna need a wash sooner than later. But I think before we get to some calls that I've gotten for lawns today, we're gonna head out to the local dealership and check what they got. You know, I'm probably in absolutely no place to be coming here since I literally have no money to spend, but uh, we're gonna check it out anyways and see if there's maybe something that'll be in our price range eventually. Oh man, one of these would be sweet. But I think just this mower alone is about $10,000. That's a lot of money. This one is the 72 inch deck. So I think it's a little bit more. And there's a nice little gator here. Really got no use for something like that, but it's kind of cool. Okay, so I just talked to one of the sales guys there. And uh, yeah, those mowers are definitely out of our price range. But they just got a trade in here. And this might be something that's a little more doable. So the guy traded in this big big tex lawn care trailer i guess he's another local lawn person around here uh i have not seen him anyways just traded this in along with this mow it mower it's kind of like an off-brand john deere looks the part probably works the part but uh costs a lot less money now they said they'd let this whole setup go for around ten thousand dollars which is an absolute steal considering one mower in there that's brand new is worth ten thousand and it comes with weed whackers and a bunch of other little miscellaneous lawn care equipment so i think this might be the move plus it's a bigger trailer than what we have now and we could definitely fit a lot more on there but enough messing around if we want to afford something like that we had better get to work so our first property this morning it's across the river now i haven't been out there to give them a quote so we're gonna quote them and uh hopefully they accept well this is the property up here and uh it's actually looking not too bad the grass is decently tall but it looks like something that's definitely manageable gonna whip around to the side here and we're gonna go check this place out all right decent lawn here in the front nothing too big now they said on the phone that they had three trees they wanted taken care of and i think oh man i think these are definitely doable but they are tall holy smokes and it's a pretty closed in backyard but uh i think i got an idea we'll take this tree this way this tree will go this way and this one will go this way i think that should work i guess they want to build some kind of a patio back here so they said the trees need to go and i'm thinking for all the mowing all the cleanup getting rid of the trees oh i'm, I'm kind of teetering on a thousand dollars but since we're going to be getting money from this wood because the sawmill's not too far away from here, I think we could probably squeeze out about an $800 job. Plus, that means if we go a little bit cheaper, they'll probably have us back for regular mows. All right, just got the okay for them on the quote, $800 we're gonna get to work so first order of business here is to take care of the trees before we get to mowing grab my chainsaw out of the truck here timber there she goes okay second one perfect and the third one man there's gonna be a lot of mess to clean up so first order of business is to get these trees delimbed and then of course we got to figure out how to get them all hauled to the sawmill. Well, so far, so good here. Uh, we have got a lot of tree all over the place. But we got one more left to delim, and then it should be pretty straightforward from here. Well, that's it. That's all. After you cut off all the limbs, there is not a whole lot left. Okay, so my idea to kind of get this transported is really just to use the trailer because I don't really want to ding up my truck bed trying to get trees in there so the trailer is kind of our best bet here got everything unloaded that can just stay there for now i'm gonna attempt to back this trailer in there that might be easier said than done come on backup skills don't fail me now okay this should work i hope now i just gotta figure out how big of a chunk and actually get loaded into this trailer here yeah this is definitely gonna be quite a few loads of trying to figure out just how much we can stack in this little trailer we're essentially just playing a big old game of jenga at this point all right that's probably all I'm going to be able to get. Might be able to fit one more on there. There we go. DOT certified right there. Yeah, that's definitely going to work. We should be able to fit the next one on pretty easily. And then all the branches are going to be uh, fun to try load up. Well, I sure hope we get some money for this. We're, uh, we're risking a hefty ticket from the DOT right now. After managing to make it to the sawmill without getting pulled over, we dropped off our load and made a nice $1,142. And after making it back to the house, we got the trailer loaded up, and this time, we filled the truck bed as well. And with our final load netting us an extra $1,600, we were well on our way to affording our new mowing setup. With the backyard now free of trees, it was time to get to some mowing. All right, yard's looking pretty good here. Just got the mowing left. I also got a call while I was hauling trees that apparently there's this, like, new mowing company in town or something. And, uh, I guess 
This particular person that called had a really bad experience with them mowing their lawn. So they called me and asked me if I could come down and mow theirs later today because they just apparently left this lawn in shambles. So for a brand new mowing company to get complaints like that, I don't think I have much worry about competition around here. I'll be happy to take any jobs that uh, they don't do properly. But I am thinking I might list my current mower setup for sale See if I get any bites on it, and then possibly by that time, if I have enough money, I might be able to get the new mowing setup that's at John Deere. Well, that is the backyard pretty much finished here. We just got the front yard left, and then we got to rake up all this. Which, luckily, we have a lawn sweeper. See, one thing that is really nice about having one of these small, small mowers is you can squeeze into the tightest places, so you almost never have to weed whip. It's one of the disadvantages to having a big mower, but uh, at the end of the day, big mower means I can mow lawns a lot faster, and make a lot more money. All right, that's it for mowing. We'll just rip through the lawn with the lawn sweeper and we'll be good to go. This part usually goes pretty quick. And they said just to dump it in the back of the yard and uh, they'll burn it later once it all dries out. Saves them the dump fee, I guess. Well, lawn is raked and there's a big old pile of grass here. They'll deal with that. I'm gonna get all loaded up and hopefully wash this thing before we head to our next job because it is filthy. Actually, maybe after our next job. Yeah, it's because we're going to get dirty anyway, I guess. Okay, all loaded up. Let's go grab our paycheck. And I think while I'm down here, I might go grab some lunch from McDonald's. They gave me a discount since I mow their lawn. And $800. Holy smokes, that brings us up to $4,000. Dang, we're almost halfway there. We're at $10,000 goal so we can get ourselves a new lawn mowing setup. Well, just popped by the McDonald's here and uh, they recognized me, so they gave me my meal for free. Sweet. Well, let's go to the next mowing job. Holy smokes. Well, here we are. Uh, this is apparently the lawn that uh, my competitor, I don't even know if I, should, if I should call him that because this is the way they left it. My competitor, Riverside Landscaping, this is how they left the lawn. They haven't even been back to mow it. Uh, there's ruts everywhere on the lawn. There's grass still everywhere. Is that wood chips? Apparently they cut down a tree and then they left the chunks that they didn't want of the tree just all piled up next to the trash cans. Like, really? This is the way they're leaving lawns? Well, I think I can uh, definitely get this place a little more fixed up and try help them out with this because this is ridiculous. Yeah, they're definitely not going to be in business very long if this is the way they're leaving lawns. So first things first, we are going to try mow some of the front yard here, try get a little more cleaned up because no one should have their lawn looking like this, especially if a landscaping company was just through. They also said they got some grass seed for the uh, ruts in there, so we're gonna put that down for them and hopefully make this lawn a little bit better. We're also gonna clean up the wood chips, of course. Can't leave those around, but I hope I can try fix this lawn a little bit. I'm okay with some competition, but man, Riverside Landscaping, if they're gonna leave lawns like this, yeah, I'm not gonna have to worry about nothing. See, this is another lawn that I did. Look at how clean and nice it is versus the lawn that they left. And apparently they charged them a crap ton of money to do this and left it like this. So yeah, at this point, I just feel bad. Luckily, I don't think they touched this side. So it still looks somewhat decent, but this is part of the yard. I don't understand why they wouldn't mow it if it's part of the yard. Okay, so I've got most of the lawn mowed up here. Now I'm just gonna move some of these logs and the trash cans so we can mow up all around here and then try rake up all this grass. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Okay, now we got to try to deal with all these logs. Hopefully I can fit them all in the trailer in one go, but holy smokes, some of these are huge. After getting the trailer completely loaded down with logs, we hopped on the mower and began cleaning up the mess of grass that the previous company had left. And after a little bit of work, the lawn was now looking a lot better. After fixing the ruts, the lawn was now finished and we could collect our paycheck, which brought us to $4,200. And on top of that, we now had a full load of logs to sell for profit. With the logs bringing us in an extra $1,300, we headed back into town and picked up our mower to finish out the day. Well, boys, I stopped at Tractor Supply, spent $500, and picked myself up a pressure washer so I could get everything cleaned off. I could have technically stopped at a car wash, but I figured I was probably going to have to use a pressure washer a lot more. So hopefully this is a worthwhile investment. Anyways, I think I'm going to try get everything cleaned up here and try list it. Now, I only have $5,000 but I did talk to the bank and I think I could get a loan anywhere from $5,000 to $3,000. So hopefully that should be just enough to get that new mowing set up. Well, boys, it has been a couple hours here, but I ended up listing this whole deal here, the trailer, my lawnmower, and my little dump trailer for, I think, what was it, like $2,500? I had a dude reach out to me not like 30 minutes after I listed it and said, would you take $2,000? Which I is ridiculous for this because I think I only got a couple hundred, maybe a thousand into it. So I took that and uh, I think the loan from the bank should come through here in the next hour or so and we might be able to get that new setup 
by the end of the day. Well, the guy came by to get it. I think he's just writing out a check or questioning life. I'm not really sure. Check it out. $2,000. That brings us up to $7,000 total. Holy smokes. I think we might be able to do it. I'm going to head to John Deere and see if I can get the rest financed on that whole setup. Well, $5,000 down and I have myself a brand new mowing setup. So this whole setup was $10,000. I have a loan for the rest of the 5,000. Hopefully we'll get that paid off before the end of summer, but we now have a whole mowing setup and a nice one at that. Now I still kept the lawn sweeper just in case we need to uh, pick up some grass, but this should do a heck of a lot better job than that old small mower. And now we have a massive trailer too. Now all this stuff is used. So I'm assuming that this mower is gonna need new blades and probably a couple of little things, but I'd say so far we're doing pretty dang good. Well, this is how the new setup's looking. Got everything loaded up, ready to go for our next job. Well, boys, it's another day, another dollar, trying to build a mowing business from scratch. We've got just over $2,000 in the bank account. This man looks like he's questioning life, and we're going to get to work. Now, this morning, we're headed across the river to go to a very big job. I'd say our biggest yet, actually, with the new mowing setup. It should work good. I'll explain the details of the job once we get there, but I was scrolling on Facebook Marketplace this morning, and I found myself, First Gen Cummins, with a dump bed. Now, currently, we don't have enough money to buy it, but depending on how this job goes, we might be able to change that. So I just stopped in at Casey's here, spent 50 bucks on fuel, everything's now full, and I think we're ready to go. Across the river has way better fuel prices than uh, the side I live on. Man, someday it'd be sweet to have a big mowing compound out here, but I think we're gonna have to mow just a few more lawns to make that happen. All right, so we're just pulling up to the property now, and uh, it's not exactly what you think. Gates unlocked, that's good. So this side of the property is not the side that we're gonna be working on today. There's a couple storage buildings out here. None of this is a uh, concern of ours. It's a property a bit more up the mountain. This road is looking real rough. This ought to be fun. Oh boy, it is sure rocky. The old D-Max is struggling, but I think we might just be able to get it. I'd lose my mower if it wasn't strapped down to the trailer. All right, this is the owner here. He's meeting us. Take a look at this place and see what we all need to do. All right, so coming up this property here, there's a bit of a road. There's a bunch of down trees. Man, this road is a little worse for wear. Anyways, there's a bunch of down trees that need to be bucked up and hauled away. That's a lot of good firewood money. And then coming up the uh, laneway a bit more is this old grain bin house. Basically a grain bin that's converted into a house. Bunch more down trees. There's a bunch of lawn that needs to be mowed back here, cleaned up which I think we could definitely do. But first things first is cleaning up all these down trees and getting them out of here. Okay, so the owner left, gave him a quote, we secured the deal. This is gonna be our highest paying job to date, $4,000 to get everything mowed up to the property, including around the property, cleaning up all these trees, getting everything to look nice. On top of that, we get to keep all the firewood. That's a lot of money in itself. So I'm thinking what I'm gonna do first is I'll get the chainsaw out, We'll buck up all this, get it kind of stacked away to haul later on, and then we should be able to work our way up the property here and get it all mowed. All right, I got my chainsaw. Let's get to some cutting. Okay, first set of trees. Oh boy, we got one rolling down the hill. Anyway, first set of trees is all bucked up here. I think we're just gonna try uh, rolling them down the hill here. Hopefully they don't smack a truck. There we go. Get them all down the hill. Man, this might be a little easier said than done. There we go. That's the way to do it. Just push them all down there. Perfect. Okay, I got all the uh, trees on the hill here kind of roughly stacked up. Doesn't have to be pretty. It's getting loaded in the truck later today anyway. Let's see if the old Duramax is up to the task of actually getting up this hill. All right, so far so good. Not looking great though. We still don't have a skid steer or anything, so we can't really offer anything to him for uh, smoothing out this path or anything like that. For now, we just got to stick to mowing and uh, brush clearing. And all we can do at the moment. But with a little more money, should be able to make something happen there. That's why I'm kind of hoping we can buy that first gen sooner than later. After getting the last of the trees delimbed, cut, and stacked, it was time for some mowing. But with the terrain on this property, that was going to be a little easier said than done. But sure enough, my new zero turn was up for the task. And after getting the laneway finished, it was on to the house, which wasn't very pleasant considering all the bushes. But an hour or so of mowing later, and the place was looking great. We grabbed our lawn beggar, but about 30 seconds later, I realized that the beggar would not work with this mower, so hand raking was our only option. All right, well... It took a heck of a long time, but we finally got the yard raked up. I need to definitely buy a bagging system for this mower because ain't no way in heck that thing's working and ain't no way in heck I'm hand raking every lawn. So that's something that's got to change. 
But for now, we've got all this wood that we can take down to the sawmill and hopefully make a quick buck off of. We've got the whole yard up there mode along with everything going down to the road. So the guys should be real happy. This property took quite a while, probably one of our longer jobs we've ever done, if not our longest. And it's still not over yet. All right. So this trailer is not necessarily built for hauling uh, logs, but I think we're going to make it work or try our best anyway. Holy smokes, that is about as full as we're getting this thing. We've got the first half all loaded up here. So we'll run this out to the sawmill, and then we'll grab the other half, and then we'll grab our mower, and then it's off to the next job. But this place does clean up really nice. I wouldn't mind actually living here. There's enough space back there where you could expand out back to a shop. Maybe one day. But for now, we're still broke. Oh boy, this road's a little easier said than done. And we made it. Now down this road, that absolutely destroys your suspension. And it's probably going to break a trailer axle for me. Ah, crap. I think I might have bottomed out. There we go. We got it. Oh, never mind. Well, I think we made it. After making it out to the sawmill in one piece, the first load of logs netted us $8,000. Our biggest payday yet. But we weren't done hauling logs just yet. After making our way down to the property again, except this time using a questionable shortcut, I got the last of the logs loaded, and it was back to the sawmill. This time around, it was another nearly $9,000. So with the wood hauling and selling out of the way, was back to the property to pick up our mower. So I just had a chat with the owner here. I got paid $4,000. That brings us up to $23,000, which is the most amount of money I've ever had. And I don't even know how long since I probably bought this whole setup, which, uh, yeah, we didn't even have that much then. But I'm thinking, well, I'm ahead. I'll pay the remaining $5,000 that I owe to the bank for buying this setup. That way, we're completely debt free and I can go look at, uh, some more equipment because the guy that owns this place mentioned that if I get some bigger equipment to bring in some rock and smooth out this whole path, that he'd definitely want us out here to, uh, make this a lot better. So I better start looking at some equipment. But there goes my hard earned $5,000 back to the bank anyways now that we're debt free that gives us options to start looking at more equipment and hopefully expanding the business now speaking of expanding the business i have talked to a buddy of mine who might want to come over and start working for me the funny thing is he works for my competitor riverside landscaping or something i don't know whatever they're called anyways they're not paying him crap so he's talking about coming over to mow for me but it's almost the end of the day so i am gonna go get some food and then go look at some equipment online. So I dropped off my trailer here. I'm just waiting on this light that it would ever turn green. Anyway, I found the skid steer on uh, online there. So we're going to go take a look at it. It's actually just at the auction mart just down the road here. So I guess we'll see if it's possibly worth buying. Dang it, a train too now? Holy smokes, I can't get anywhere today. Finally, there we go. All right, I think this is it here. The guy said the key's in it, so I can uh, try it out if I want to. And this thing looks rough. Oh, kind of a weirder skid steer too. Uh, definitely not something that's made from around here. Now, this thing is uh, very high on the hours, like extremely, like to the point where I don't even know if I'd want to buy it just because it's so high hours, even though I'm kind of working on a tighter budget here. Yeah, I'm not too sure on this one. I mean, it's not like I need anything fancy, but on the same note, I also need something that's going to be somewhat reliable, and I can already see a multiple hydraulic leaks, and the thing doesn't steer the best. Yeah, I think uh, I think I'm going to have to pass on this one. I know I really wanted to grab a uh, skid steer this week, but I don't think that's going to happen. So I'll back to looking, I guess. Well, boys, it's another day back out here at the Moan Business. We got uh, $18,000 to our name here. We're just getting everything washed up and cleaned for the week. What you looking at? Give you a shower. You need a bath, man. All right, we're good to go here. So last episode, I was uh, possibly going to look at a first-gen Dodge with a dump bed. Now, uh, I've secured a meeting with the guy, and we're supposed to go check it out in about 20 minutes here. So I'm going to get the trailer unhooked, and then we're headed to the bank because we are not just buying a truck. We're actually buying a little more than that. But uh, you guys will see that in a little bit. Now, uh, for what we're buying, we're going to have to take out a massive loan, bigger than we've ever taken out before. At any rate, I'm hoping it's worth it. Now, I just figured I'd stop at John Deere here and see what they got. Looks like they got a new dump trailer. Ooh, I like this one. Yeah, I could definitely use this, but I'm guessing the price tag on it. Yeah, I could probably let it, uh, let it slide that I do not have that one. I really, really love this John Deere. What is this? 34L? something like that anyways little little loader tractor this thing would be sick to have but uh again 
out of my price range. We're buying older equipment because that's all we can afford. But I gotta get down to the bank so we can get this loan secured. And hopefully, at the end of the day, we'll have some new equipment. All right, boys, loan secured. $15 thousand dollars holy smokes that's a lot of money so we're just pulling up here to meet the guy and check out the rig that we're possibly going to be buying depending on how it looks i'm not too sure just yet but holy smokes if it does look okay which so far it does we're going to be spending way too much money okay so this is what we're looking at a first gen dodge it's really nice just really mild out but, uh, you know, these uh, old Cummins, they run forever. It's got a dump bed on it. It was used for some uh, landscaping as well. Got a little two-axle trailer here. A New Holland C190. Not New Holland's best skid steer. In fact, I don't think New Holland has a good skid steer, in my opinion. But, uh, you know what? I think it'll work. Comes with this grapple and a bucket. You came out of nowhere. Anyways, he wants $30,000 for that setup. Now, in a way, it's low, and in a way, it's high, because it is all older equipment, and it is kind of all mild out, but you try go buy anything at auction, you're going to be paying way over this. At any rate, he's an older dude that wants to get out of the business and go to Florida for the winter, so I'm happy to oblige by buying this. Now, I'm going to be honest, we could probably take all this stuff to auction and sell it for like 60, but we're just going to give him what he's asking. But first, I got to take this first gen for a drive, which the interior is immaculate on. I did not think it would be. For being an old work truck, it is pretty dang good, and I think it has strobes as well. It does. I like that. Now, this is definitely one heck of an investment to the business, and uh, I guess if I buy this, I'll have two setups. I'm just one guy. I can't run two setups. That's why I'm probably bringing on a second guy sooner than later. All right. Everything seems good with this truck. It's going to burn a crap ton of diesel, but I think it's going to be worth it. And boom, $30,000 down the drain. Watch this thing blows up the second I take it out of the parking lot. <laughs> that would suck. That would suck. But no time for messing around. I got a loan to pay and we got some money to make. Let's take this thing to work. I'll get my truck later today. It's fine sitting here for now. Holy smokes. First job of the day has got me taking some back roads. Oh man, this is rough. The first gen is not enjoying it. I will say that much. And I'm in the cab and I'm not enjoying it. All right. So we're just pulling up to the first job of the day. This is a campground out here. Now, uh, normally we'd be out here to mow a place like this, but uh, unfortunately they've already got a mowing service out here. So we do not have dibs on that. But what they did call us for was uh, some trees that fell down and they want to get rid of the rest of them because now it just it kind of looks bad. So we got two fallen trees. We're going to cut down the rest of them. There's two, three, four, five trees. Yeah, we got five other trees to cut down. So we'll get those knocked down, cut them up into some decent chunks, get them all loaded up on the trailer, take them to the sawmill to make some extra money, and then it's off to the next job. So first chance to actually use my new skid steer, which I'm kind of excited about. Okay, so I'm getting this tree cleared first because it's kind of blocking their uh, boat launch at the moment, and they need that cleared, so we're going to get this out of here so they can do whatever they need to do down there. Man, if I had some free time, some fish would be awesome, but I got to make money. Well, this may not be the biggest skid steer, but it definitely gets the job done. They even got a light bar on the top, which is kind of nice. I like that feature. I will say, though, this log fork is definitely not the best. Oh, I almost took out that sign. Yeah, this log fork definitely needs an upgrade, but that's down the road. Well, that's one down, six more to go. After getting the last of the trees chopped down, we got them delimbed, cut up into sizable chunks, and got them loaded onto a trailer. With the trees now taken care of, minus some odds and ends, we headed out to the sawmill to see just how much money we can make. After making it to the sawmill without getting stopped by the DOT for my amazing strap job, we got everything unloaded and sold for a grand total of $6,000. With summer now in full swing, firewood prices had kind of gone down, minus the occasional person buying for a campfire. Regardless, it was still a good bit of money. With the job now complete, we loaded up our skid steer, collected our check bringing us up to $11,000, and it was off to the next job. As you can see, uh, the bed is loaded up with rock. Now, the reason for that is because the next job that we're headed out to is making a gravel pad in a backyard. So, picked up a load full of this stuff, we'll get out to the yard and get to work. Now, the main difference between uh, mowing work and skid steer work is skid steer work, you can charge a considerable amount more because you're paying for a bigger, more expensive piece of equipment opposed to just a lawnmower. Even though, there's some lawnmowers that are more expensive than this New Holland. And I am definitely going to need that second guy to help me out with this business because I 
can't keep up with the amount of jobs there are around here right now. But this new setup definitely provides a lot more work. All right, so this is a house I did a while ago, actually, and uh, it's pretty much ready to be done again. So I'll have to come back and do that later. But for now, they want this gravel pad done, so we're going to get to work on that. It shouldn't take too long. Although this truck is squatting big time with this load of rock. It's not liking it. Anyways, before we get it dumped, I got to unload my skid steer quick. Ah, I should have left that hooked up. Oh, well, we'll be fine. Anyways, I'm going to clear out a nice little patch, try and level it out a little bit. Hopefully, I'll be happy with it. Okay, I'm just going to drop the bucket here. There we go. Drop my forks, grab my bucket, and let's get to work. I do need a wider bucket, though, because these tracks are a little bit wider than the bucket, and it makes uh, trying to do some leveling not as easy as you'd think. Okay, so this is where we're at here. Got this little spot took down to dirt. I think we're just gonna get the dump truck backed in here and uh, dump some gravel. I'm not exactly sure their motive for uh, having it right in between these three trees here, but uh, I don't question it. As long as I'm getting paid, I'll pretty much put rock wherever you want. The dump bed works good. I'm liking it. Okay, they may not need all the rock they ordered here, but uh, we're gonna try to get this little bit spread out here. Man, having a skid steer for all this is so much easier. Just a bit more leveling and we should be good to go. Got it all packed down here. Just trying to do a little bit of cleanup on the edges just to make sure we're good nice and tidy there we go dump this back into the truck easy money easy easy money i probably could have done that by hand but made it about uh i don't know an hour faster just doing it with the skid steer hook our trailer back up here to the truck load our skid steer back up here oh boy it always has trouble getting up here things look a little bit dirty needs a wash all right i'm gonna go collect my paycheck and we'll get the heck out of here thousand bucks even Pretty good freaking day if you ask me. So I'm just filling everything up here with uh, diesel real quick. This is going to be expensive. Oh, I still haven't even gotten to the skid steer yet. Holy smokes, 350 bucks to fill this all up. Well, we did make a lot of money though. That is the good part. But now that I'm home, a new issue arises. Where in the heck do I park this? Good night. Um... I think my kind of best option right now is just to kind of park it next to my place. Now, I think we're going to ride the month out, staying here just for now until uh, I find something a little bit bigger because this place ain't going to cut it with two full truck setups, which reminds me, I've got to go call uh, somebody to give me a ride to go grab my other truck. But with two full setups, this place ain't going to cut it no more. All right, I grabbed my truck. We got both setups looking real good. And we're ending out the day with uh, over $11,000. I'm not going to complain. We still may be $15,000 in debt, but I think that's easily manageable with uh, the setups we're rocking now. I just need that second guy, so uh, maybe we can get a second mower and knock out some crazy big jobs. <laughs> boys another day another dollar out here trying to build a landscaping business from scratch we got just under twelve thousand dollars in the bank account here and we got a couple jobs on the board for today a couple big ones actually that are going to net us a lot of money at any rate the uh rent on my place here we have a couple more days to decide if we want to move out get a new place or stay here and preferably with all the equipment stacking up here i would like to get a new place anyways we got to get everything fueled up ready to go for today oh, what's what's this guy want hello we've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty yeah yeah not not today man i'm just gonna yep yeah, i'm just gonna get out of here i moved 12 hours away from where i lived and he still follows me okay so the question is is diesel cheaper here at 419 or is it cheaper up here oh man it's a lot cheaper up here okay we're stopping here man they are just ripping that other place apart on prices undercutting them big time well just fueled everything up got myself some breakfast is 80 bucks anyway let's go make some money okay so we have a bunch of returning customers on this block we've mowed for them before and uh they're having us back to mow again but this time we're gonna be able to do it a lot quicker than we did before anyways we're just gonna park up right here and get to work so we have one new house on this block that i secured yesterday actually got a call from them and they're like hey we need to mow i came out here gave them a quote and they were happy with it we got this house this house on the corner this middle house here and then this other house on the corner so four houses all ready to go and all that mowing totaling up to forty five hundred dollars so a lot of money but also a lot of work anyways i'm gonna go check the lawns over quick make sure there's no sticks no toys no rocks no nothing and then if everything's good we'll get to mowing oh yeah this is the uh property we put in this gravel pad here not too long ago uh i guess they haven't put their 
patio or a fireplace in there, whatever they're going to do. Deer everywhere through here. Oh man, how many of these suckers are there? Okay, everything seems good. Let's get the mower and loaded and get to work. So after we're done all four of these houses here, we have uh, another job with the skid steer. Now, I was thinking in the meantime, maybe once we get a new property, we actually have a place to store the skid steer, maybe we can rent our trailer out. I know it kind of seems risky, but uh, if we get the right insurance for the trailer, we should be okay. And by my rough calculations, that should bring in an extra couple grand every month, depending on how many times the trailer's rented out. And don't worry about the grass on the street, we are coming back to sweep that up with the lawn sweeper. I ain't gonna leave that sitting there. Actually, speaking of the lawn sweeper, I forgot that at the house, so we're gonna have to go pick that up. Can you imagine if we had to push mow this like we did last time when we came around to do all these jobs? Oh man, that'd be uh, not a good time. So the best part about having all these lawns together is we can just go in one big shot and take out a good chunk of the lawns. Minus the one house that's on the other side of the street. But this new lawnmower sure makes quick work of this stuff. So currently we have about a $15,000 loan out and uh, we took that loan out to get some equipment. Now I'd like to get that paid off sooner than later so maybe we can get a loan on a property or something. That's the hope anyway. Not long after I started mowing, I ran into a landscaper's worst nightmare, having to actually get off the lawn mower. Nah, I'm just kidding. But seriously, people, it's trash day. Put your trash bins out. After getting finished up with three out of the four houses on the block, we headed across the street to do the last one, where I yet again ran into my worst enemy, actually having to get off the lawn mower. Stupid flipping trash cans. People, take your trash cans to the curb, is what I would have done if I was Riverside Landscape. But we're professionals over here, so I rolled them to the side of the curb nicely. I should really start upcharging for this crap. After finishing up the last house, it was a quick drive back to home base to pick up my lawn sweeper. And after making it back, we hooked up the lawn sweeper and finished up. Well, boys, $4,800. We actually had a couple people tip, so uh, I'm pretty happy with that. Anyways, that brings us to just over $16,000, which is enough to currently pay off the loan. So I'm thinking we're going to do that. Well, loan is paid off. That leaves us with just under $1,500, and I think... I will be happy with that currently. That does not leave us a lot of room for buying anything unless we take out another loan, which I do not want to do unless we're buying a property, which speaking of properties, I might've got a lead on one. So uh, we're going to go look at that later. But for now, I've got a job to do. One that requires a skid steer. Love these jobs. Okay, so we just ripped across the river here. We're actually on our way to a different house than where the job's at. We're going to pick up a set of pallet forks for this thing. I don't currently have any, so we definitely need some. Go car. Green light, go. Green means go. Well, this is the address. I guess they must have uh, pallet forks here. Thought it might've been a house, but I guess not. Well, just made a deal, 250 bucks. An absolute score for a set of pallet forks. I will take it. These definitely aren't the most heavy duty pallet forks on the market, but they will do for what we need. Okay, so we're just pulling back up to the house here. Uh, we're unloading some of the other attachments because we're gonna need all the extra space on the trailer we can get for what we're gonna be doing here. Look, don't ask me why I didn't unload them before. I have no idea. Just didn't really cross my mind. Okay, so we're here at Tractor Supply out of all places. Uh, we're picking up a bale feeder and a water trough. Now we could possibly move this by hand. It is a little heavy, but with like two, maybe three guys, we could probably move this. This thing's light. Anyways, the reason for the skid steer is once we get out there, the guy needs us to move some bales for him. Not necessarily landscaping, but hey, when you need money, you gotta get creative. I quoted the guy a $500 price, not really thinking much of it because I was like, I didn't really want to do a moving job, but he surprisingly took it. He said I actually came in cheaper than pretty much everybody else, which I was surprised about, so I probably should have quoted him more. At any rate, we're probably gonna make a good amount of money on this. All right, just got the bale feeder tossed on the trailer here. Let's grab the water trough now. That will do it, except I can't see for crap. Okay, all strapped down. Let's roll. Oh, shoot. I should have known it was this place. So uh, this is Red Wagon Grill, and uh, I guess they're getting some horses here. So now I get why they want me to do this. Here I was thinking, oh, this is just some really rich dude who got his daughter some horses and just doesn't know anything about them. But uh, yeah, now I see why I'm doing this. This makes a lot more sense. Ah, crap. Oh, shoot. Okay, there we go. That's better. Okay, so they said to put the water trough right there and then the bale feeder right next to it. And then we got to move the bales into this little pen here so the horses stay out of it. I don't think there's any in here right now, but there probably is going to be soon. Okay, perfect. So they said they wanted it over by the water trough, but I mean, you kind of want it on open semi-level ground where the horses can access it at all points. And I think it's better there. 
I'm just gonna open up these gates real quick and we'll get these uh, bales moved in. Easy money right here. Okay, finished up here. We'll go close up these gates. I'm gonna go grab my paycheck and we are out of here. Well, they gave me $800. Pretty sure we agreed on five, but they gave me eight. So I'm not gonna complain about that. All right, so I made it back here. Uh, I actually took off the trailer because we're gonna go look at a property here. With our loan now paid off, we actually have the ability to go buy something. And since I got a lead on one, we're gonna go take a look at it. Okay, it should be just coming up here on the left hand side. There it is. Except crap, there's no turn in. You know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna cut across the highway anyway. Don't mind me. Yep, there we go. Okay, check this out. This is actually pretty dang cool. So this is a little piece of property here. Uh, there's no house currently. I think we got a couple acres here. I'm not sure exactly how many. It does have the uh, river alongside it, which is kind of cool. Anyway, since this property does not have a house, it is pretty cheap. Now, the owner used to uh, park his camper out here for the summer, do whatever, but he wants to get rid of it now. He has a couple uh, sheds out here that were built not too long ago, actually. There's this little shed right here. I don't know what you can put in here. Maybe a quad, side by side, something like that. Tools, whatever. And then the bigger shop right here. This is actually what I'm more interested in. Could store a decent amount of things. If you maneuver them right, you could probably fit uh, one truck, one trailer in here. And then there is a bit of room on the property to actually add another shop. Kind of right here is where I'd be thinking. And if the shop is big enough, you could get rid of the shed here and then just park a trailer alongside here. Or maybe build a house kind of back in this area or park a trailer, I guess. So there's lots of different options here. Anyways, I think this is our best option because there's not really another property like this in the area uh the downside of this one is we're across the river which is not the greatest there's a couple businesses on this side but most of the businesses we need and most of the properties we're currently maintenance are on the other side of the river so not ideal but uh can definitely live with that anyways i think i like this one so i'm gonna give the guy a call send him an offer and uh see if we can make a deal Okay, so I've been on the phone with uh, the owner of this property and the bank for about the last two hours, and I think the deal's done. I got the loan approved from the bank, I gave the guy an offer he liked, and we now own this place. So with all that being said, we're $50,000 in debt to this. At any rate, this place does have power and water, so that's a big upside. That's why the property is uh, fairly well valued and land around here, considering it's so close to the city, goes for a lot of money. Plus, the newer sheds add a considerable amount of value. Not a whole lot, but I mean, the amount of land we have, we have a bit of land actually going up into the trees here. So if we really want to expand the property, we've got a good amount to do so. So yeah, $50,000. We now own the place. We've got a couple more days left where I currently live. So we don't got to find a living arrangement quite yet, but I think it's most likely going to be a camper. Well, boys, it's another day back out here at the landscaping business. We got $2,010 in the bank account. This guy's waiting for me to move my truck. And speaking of moving, it is moving day. I got all my stuff packed up from my uh, little place over here. And we're going to be getting everything to the new property. And I think we got a couple jobs on the board for today. So it, it's fixing to be a busy day. So first order of business here, we're going to get the uh, lawn mowing set up over there. I don't know how we're going to get back to get the skid steer and the other truck. So I'm gonna have to figure something out. This light ever decides, it. okay, now it's green. I may just have to call a cab or something. But our current problem is I literally have nowhere to live. And because it was our last day in that small house over there and we're moving over to the new property, there's no house on this new property. And my thought was to maybe get a camper. So we're gonna see if we can find a camper today. I don't have a lot of money to buy said camper, but we're gonna have to probably make some. And I am just hitting every single red light today. Okay, never mind. now it's green. Okay, so technically there's not a road across here to get to my property, so I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'm just gonna cut across. We'll be fine. All right, here we are. So I'm just gonna leave everything hooked up because we've still got a couple jobs to take care of today. I just wanted to get everything over here so we can officially move in. But now I gotta try to find a ride back over across the river. Can I try a hitchhike? There's no cars coming at all. It's been about 10 minutes here. Still not a single flipping car. What kind of highway is this that there's no car for 10 minutes? All right, thanks for the ride, man. Appreciate it. We got dropped off at uh, Del Taco here, right by my house. Well, I'll have to come back for my pressure washer too, but we're gonna get this over there for now. All right, back across the river here. My dually is fairly low on fuel here, so we're gonna pull into Casey's, grab some lunch, grab some diesel. The tank's pretty much right empty on this, so this is gonna be expensive. Ouch, 110 bucks. 
Well, I got, uh, I got food and I got diesel. That's all we need. Now I'm ready to go make some money. I swear red lights are going to be the death of me. You have got to be kidding me. Of course, as soon as I say anything, you know, they go green. All right. Don't mind me. Just going to make my illegal turn here real quick. And there we go. Well, that's it. Moving's done. Minus my pressure washer. I have to go pick that up. But now that we're here, our main objective is to get a camper. We really need one. We need something to live in. I mean, I guess I could sleep in my truck, but that's not very ideal. I actually want to get a decent night's sleep. And then whenever uh, winter comes, I can just park my camper right in here. Or I can leave it outside, but either or. This is heated, so it does make things a little easier. Okay, well, I think I'm ready to go make some money. Now, lucky enough for me, all the work that we got to do is on this side of the river today. So, it should be a pretty easy day. All right, back at this house. We've done this house a couple times here, but uh, they're always a nice returning customer. So, I'm more than happy to do work for them. Click on load of the mower, lower the deck, and we are off. After mowing and lawn sweeping the first house, which netted us a quick $300, we loaded everything back up and it was on to the next job, which took us up this big mountain road to a nice little acreage at the top. And while this place was really nice, the grass was barely overgrown due to a broken lawn mower that the owner Jeremy had at a repair shop. Jeremy later told me that there was no way in heck he was mowing the lawn with a little push mower just like this. We got the lawn mower unloaded and got to work. Jeremy also told me that he did not want the lawn sweep because he told me, and I quote, that is a waste of my damn money. Along with a few other remarks, I'm not even going to repeat. And with Jeremy's nice comments out of the way, I continued mowing. And of course, it wouldn't be a normal day in the mowing business without some damn trash cans. And with the finished job netting us an extra $500, I got everything loaded up and got the heck out of there. So I'm just driving back to the shop here, and I've driven past this place a couple times now. It's a really overgrown property. Uh, there's some down trees in the back. It definitely needs a mow. And uh, it, it kind of gave me an idea. So I've seen these videos on TikTok where guys uh, go to these people's places and they'll do like a, a free mow for them, clean up the property and make it look nice again. You know, we've been doing pretty well this summer, so I feel like uh, we could afford to do maybe a free mow. So I think I'm going to go knock on this guy's door and uh, see if he'll maybe let me mow the property. Yes, hello, sir. I noticed your uh, your grass is pretty tall here. Uh, I run a local landscaping company in the area here and was just curious if uh, I could mow your lawn for free. What's the catch? It, there's no catch, sir. I'm, I'm not I'm not charging anything. I just want to mow your lawn for free. OK, so you'd be all right with that. Awesome. Um, Just out of curiosity, all the logs on the side of the house there, did you want me to just stack them up? Or did you want them thrown away or something or okay thrown away awesome all right i'll get to work on this okay looks like we got ourselves a uh property here so all the logs on the side of the house here he just wants thrown away but uh, this wood is actually worth a little bit of money so i think we'll get it all loaded up and we'll take it to the sawmill there but uh yeah he pretty much said we can do whatever we want with this stuff so we'll just take this away then i think we'll clean up the property this looks like a broken down lawnmower he's got in here and maybe that's why he hasn't mowed it in a while uh, i'm just gonna check for anything on the property that i should know about holy smokes it's an airstream these things are worth a lot of money actually it's got an old john deere back here okay well i think i'm gonna run back grab my uh skid steer and trailer we're gonna try to get some of this wood cleaned up because uh we're not gonna be able to get around the house if we can't clean that up and then we'll come back with a lawnmower and clean this all up i almost smoked that fire hydrant i was so flipping close gonna try not to do that all right we're back at the property here so i am going to unload a couple of the tools that i'm not gonna need off the skid steer trailer here and then we're gonna take that up to the property there and get it all cleaned up i guess okay so we're pretty much not gonna need anything except the grapple forks we'll just take all this off of here drop that right there if it ever wants to come off the forks come on there we go okay that should be all we need let's get this loaded up and let's get the heck out of here see what i really need now is a uh, brush mower for the front of the skid steer that would work perfect for this property because there's a lot of it that's just super overgrown and uh the zero turn will be able to handle it it would just be a lot easier with a brush mower so maybe that'll be an investment in the future but for now we should be able to do it with the zero turn i think i just want to get all the logs and crap out of there before we start mowing all right let's pull in here let's get to work we're gonna try grab all the big logs here first and we'll come back for the smaller ones i don't know if we're gonna be able to get this all in one load but we'll try our hardest i guess hey there's all those logs uh the other big logs are kind of behind that pickup truck i'm gonna go ask him if i can move the pickup truck here i doubt it starts but we should be able to pull it out of the way with the skid steer okay i just got the uh go ahead from him so we're gonna try and move this a little bit i didn't notice this before that's a front end loader on it kind of 
Pretty cool, I guess. Huh. Maybe I need something like that for lawn care. I can see it having some uses. Okay, so I got the truck moved out of the way now. Uh, we've got these big, big logs here. There's a lot of them. A lot more than I thought there was. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to pick these up, but we can try. And try to grab that. I don't know if we can pick it all the way up here. I got it. I kind of can pick it all the way up. Oh, don't want to smack his house. Careful. Yeah, it's a little closer than I want it to be. Okay, so yeah, I definitely did not grab this log right. A little chainsaw action here. Ain't no way this is all going to be able to fit into this, this trailer here. We can try our best, but I don't think it's going to happen. Okay, so this is where we're at here. Uh, we got one more big, big log left, but I don't know if we're going to be able to fit it on. And we might be able to. We let it roll a little bit. Maybe. Maybe not and perfect so i had to do some more maneuvering here but uh this is kind of where we're at the trailer is pretty much fully loaded so we're gonna go uh take this to the sawmill we got a couple other logs right here but uh we'll take those in a little bit but there was a lot more here than i thought there was after making this trip up to the sawmill we got our trailer full of logs unloaded and sold making us six thousand dollars which considering we still needed to camp pretty badly i was having no complaints and after making it back to the yard again we got the last of the wood loaded up and taken to the sawmill making us an extra thirteen hundred dollars which brought us to just over ten thousand dollars after making it back to the property we loaded the skidster up and went back to the shop to grab our mowing setup all right so we've got all the wood cleaned up i went around the property made sure there was nothing else all there is is this stump here oh there's a little piece of wood here tuck that off into the uh, bushes there okay so we'll try to get everything mowed around here and then we'll move the truck back to a better spot. Uh, this should be pretty easy. He said just up to the road here is kind of his property line and back behind his house. He said just to kind of the edge of this doesn't have to be uh, too crazy. So we should be able to get that done pretty easily. I asked him if he wanted me to move the Airstream. He said uh, no. So we're just going to leave that there. Now we are going to bag up all the grass here because may as well get it all cleaned up and nice looking. I don't want to blow any grass onto the street here. So that's why we're blowing it back into the lawn. I know a lot of people have comments about my mowing techniques, but uh, you know, I'm fine with it. Just cut up along here. We're not going to cut into the bushes because this mower can't really handle that much. So uh, we're just kind of going to leave that. I told him once I got a bush hog for my skid steer, I would come back here and uh, clean that up for him. Really, really nice old guy. Just can't mow his lawn anymore because his lawn mower is broken. He said it's actually blown up, but he needs a new one. I'm just doing two quick passes down here. May as well get it a little bit cleaned up. All right, so I got a good portion of the front done here. I'm just trying to mow around this truck right now. We'll uh, move that in a minute, but this is looking a lot better already. Well, we got the front done here. I uh, just got to move this truck real quick and we'll mow this. So instead of pushing this thing, I actually got it running. I had uh, a can of gas and a set of battery boosters. That's all it took to get this thing running. So we're just going to put it kind of back here so it's a little more out of the way. Then I'm going to get the lawn sweeper and sweep all this real quick. Holy smokes, would you just look at how much better this yard is now? Oh, man, looking good. Hey, okay, just went for my uh, second to last dump of grass here. We just got this little bit left. Okay, we're all finished up. Uh, the guy ended up coming out. He didn't want to be on camera, so that's that's fine. But uh, he was really, really happy with how everything turned out. We'll definitely be back here to finish up this property at some point. But we do have $10,000 in the bank account now, so I should be able to find a camper or something here. I may just sleep in the truck for a little while. Well, boys, it's another day back out here at the landscaping business. We got just over $10,000 in the bank account here, and uh, we're finally moved into the new property here, but I slept in my truck last night. Mostly due to the part that I don't have anywhere to live here. I don't have a camper. I don't have a, a house. I don't have like a, a, sh a shanty, I guess. I, I suppose I could stay in the shed, but uh, yeah, it's not very ideal. So today, we got to change that. And this place probably needs a mow and uh, some landscaping done to it. So considering I own a mowing slash landscaping company, I should probably keep my own yard up. But we'll get to that in a little bit. For now here, we're going to take the uh, first gen and the skid steer. And we're going to go grab something that I've needed for a while now. And hopefully this is going to let us expand the business a little bit. At any rate, we don't have any jobs up on the board for today. But that may change or we may have to go find our own. All right. So we're just pulling up to tractor supply here to pick up a brand new bush hog for the skid steer. Now I'm hoping this actually fits the skid steer because if not, I just spent a lot of money 
for uh for nothing i guess we could return it but i'm not sure what their return policy is like on bushhawks but at any rate this should let us mow down a, a couple properties that uh if we didn't have this would have to be left because our mower couldn't handle it but now that we got something that can this opens up a lot of doors oh boy it's a little heavy but i think this gets there should be good we may have to put some weight on it eventually all right twenty seven hundred dollars so that brings us down to seven thousand three hundred which we're still sitting pretty good but i'd like to have more money all right back across the highway for my illegal turn here and there we go okay so i got the skid steer unloaded here i think we're gonna try give this brush hog go here see how it works but something i did notice here is uh i don't have a fuel tank so that might be something i'll have to get eventually but i did finally bring my pressure washer over from the other place so uh at least we can wash equipment now but this actually seems to be working pretty good i have no complaints i think we're just gonna mow the grass for now i don't really want to get into mulching all that back crap right now i don't exactly have time for that so we're just gonna leave that till later but what this mower is gonna work perfect for is kind of around the river here where we can't really get the mower that well the steep corners and stuff are just not good for it so this bush hog should do the trick okay so there's a slight chance i'm getting a little carried away with this but uh i'm having too much fun mowing with the skid steer is a heck of a lot better than mowing with the zero turn mostly because the skid steer actually has air conditioning and on a hot day like this uh i will take air conditioning over no air conditioning especially when mowing grass so i still got around the river over there to do but we're just about finished with this side and uh after cutting the grass, I see the amount of landscaping that needs to be done here. Yeah, we're going to have some serious fixing to do. But for now, I think it'll be okay to leave until I get some more time and a lot more money. Now, the trick is to not slide in. Um, yeah, we're going to try not to lose my very expensive skid steer here. Well, it took a bit, but that should about do it for the mowing on this. I'll just get the rest of the grass here with the uh, zero turn. But this thing needs a wash badly so we're gonna take some time give this thing a wash here and i think we're gonna try move some of the stuff into the shop that way it's not having to sit outside constantly i mean i have this whole space in here may as well use it get our new bush hog clean too all right perfect looking brand new i am curious of something here quick so we're gonna give it a try is this tall enough to get to the top nah the ledge isn't big enough okay well i guess we'll just stick it in the corner for now and uh it can sit there till we need it again However, these two attachments need cleaning big time, though. They are crazy bad. There we go. Looking brand new again. All we need. Okay, so for storage-wise, I think this works best. We can still put just about whatever we need to in through this door. And the skid steer is nice and tucked away on the side. So is the tools. Yeah, this should work awesome. It would be nice if this shelf was big enough to actually put tools on and attachments. But, oh well. I guess we'll just use it for tires and stuff i don't know the skid steer is definitely not the only thing that needed to wash though holy smokes everything's filthy today that rainstorm that we had did not do us any favors as far as keeping our vehicles clean okay so i got everything to where i'm happy with everything's cleaned up and nice minus the uh, mowing setup here we still got to use this to finish mowing all this but uh eventually we'll clean it up Right now, I'm trying to find a camper so I can actually have somewhere to stay. All right, boys, so I ended up finding a camper. It's a crazy nice one, and believe it or not, it's free. But here's the catch. So this camper is on top of a massive hill. It's pretty hard to get the uh, camper down from, and the whole camper cannot move on its own axles because, well, they're broken. All three axles on the camper are broken, so I need to hire a moving company because I don't have the stuff necessary to move it to get it off the mountain and to my place because I don't really need a trailer that I can tow around. I just need something I can set there and live in it. It's all I need. So we're heading up there to check it out, and then uh, I'm in contact with a company that can bring it down for me. So if everything looks good, we may have a free camper for a couple thousand dollars. Okay, so this is the turnoff right here. Uh, oh boy. This looks fun. Yeah, I'm trying to find a GPS location here as to where this thing's at. Uh, this might prove to be a little more difficult than I thought. Usually people exaggerate when they're like, uh, yeah, you're gonna have to hire a record company to actually come out here and haul this thing out of here with a big rig. Yeah, no, no, these people were not exaggerating um oh th oh there it is okay yeah you're definitely not towing this out of here with a with a pickup truck not a big old camper like this and it needs to go on a trailer too because you can't tow it with its own axles unless you replace the axles on the top of the mountain but uh 
Yeah, it might be a little easier said than done. Anyway, we have 24 hours to get this thing out of here. We want it for free. So, uh, yeah, I guess let's take a look. Everything looks good. Oh, wow. This thing's crazy nice inside. Holy smokes. Okay, yeah, we're doing whatever we got to do to get this thing out of here. Well, boys, we had to uh, call in the cavalry here. Uh, holy smokes. <laughs> this is quite the setup. Anyways, when uh, your friend of a friend of a friend of a buddy who has a friend who has a buddy who also has a friend who maybe has a buddy has something like this, I think you'll be able to get a uh, a trailer off a mountain. Anyway, uh, he's just down the road here. I ended up talking to the guy. Super, super nice guy, but uh, five grand. We're getting that trailer off the mountain there. So if you think about it, it might be a little bit steep, but uh, for him to risk wrecking his equipment to uh, get that thing off of there. Yeah, well worth it to me. So that's going to bring us to uh, just over $2,000. So I think he's going to get going and we'll try to get this thing out of here. Well, it took quite a while here, but uh, the snow cat's dirty and we made it up here. Almost popped the track off a couple times because of those rocks, but uh, we're good. We're going to try to get this thing loaded up. I guess we'll see how it goes. Would you believe me if I said this was actually easier than I thought it would be? Yeah, we're all loaded up. Everything's strapped down. This was actually a perfect fit. So we're going to see if we can get this thing off the mountain. I think it should be decently easy, but uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Check it out, boys. I'm riding this snowcat in about the sketchiest hauling situation you could ever imagine. But we're making it. Slowly but surely, we're on the home stretch. And we are out. The guy said he's going to bring something else here to uh, tow the trailer the rest of the way down to my property there, which uh, is a good bit away yet, so... Definitely not going to be uh, towing down Main Street with the snowcat. I feel like the uh, the DOT might have some things to say about what's going on here. Well, we're checking some chains here before we get out on the highway. We got a little bit of a stretch of highway, so hopefully uh, no cops pull us over. But the guy brought out a flipping Kenworth to pull this. Kind of cool, but shouldn't be too much longer now. Check it out. She made it here in one piece. Okay, now we just have the task of unloading it. Might be a little easier said than done. Well, it took nearly three hours, a lot of maneuvering and a uh, couple broken chains but we got it in here and all folded out it's a lot bigger in here now that the, all the slide outs are out holy smokes so i basically got a hundred thousand dollar camper for free i can actually get up to the front well it might not be a hundred thousand now but uh maybe brand new it was a hundred thousand now it if it was all perfect, it might be worth 60000 but uh, yeah, this thing's actually decently old, but it's in really, really good condition. But with the broken axles, there's some damage on the outside, like, yeah, not the greatest thing. But we essentially did get a $100,000 camper for free. Pretty nuts. So now I pretty much have a luxury house to live in, or at least pretty close to it. But I got some more grass to cut and uh, a lot more maintenance to do on the property. Well, boys, it's another day back out here at the landscaping business. We have just over $2,000 in the bank account. Not a whole lot of money, but uh, today we should be able to change that. Now, any minute now, I think my uh, my new business partner should be showing up. He's going to be helping me expand the business, get everything running a bit more smoothly, and uh, hopefully we can make a lot of money. Anyways, while we wait for him, uh, I got to go check on a couple things things so we've got a couple jobs on the board for today and uh we might be picking up a new mower now since we don't have a lot of money it isn't gonna be anything fancy but uh with two people they're gonna be able to mow now we're gonna need something extra oh here he is dang he's got the nice dually hey man how's it going oh not too bad long time no see holy smokes you got the new setup here oh yeah she's a rig oh yeah it looks good it looks good oh you even got the death machine in the back that is perfect yep okay uh you want to get your camper backed in somewhere around here uh and then we can uh get to work because we got a lot of jobs today yep we do that's colton he's gonna be my new business partner uh we're gonna kind of share costs kind of uh share profits however that's all gonna work out but for now we've just got work we'll focus on all the money later all right yep there you go it's dropped all right so since you're here now i only have one lawnmower uh i found one on facebook marketplace for five eight hundred bucks i can't remember what it was so i think we're gonna go pick that up and then uh we should be good to go in on some jobs i should be perfect for what we need yeah don't need anything too crazy just uh just enough to you know make work go a little bit faster hey you just want to back me in here real quick oh yeah i got you yeah this thing don't have a backup camera it's not that fancy come on keep, keep keep coming straight there so colton decided it'd be a smart idea to grab gas station burritos for breakfast this morning on his way down here so uh i kicked him out 
He's on the lawnmower. How's that fresh air, bud? Oh, it feels real good. Good stuff. All right, this should be the place right here. I think I see the lawn tractor out front. Yeah, there it is. How was the ride, man? Oh, it was amazing. <laughs> nice, nice and uh, breezy, eh? Oh, yeah. All right, so this is it. It's a John Deere 3330, or yeah, 30, yeah, 3330, something like that. Um, It's not the fanciest thing out, but I think it'll work. I don't know. What do you think of it? She looks like a gem. Gem? Yeah, it is pretty taken oh, care yeah. of. It's almost shiny. Clean. All right. Well, I'm going to go uh, talk to the guy, see if we can make a deal on this thing. I guess, you know what? Is, is the keys in it? I'm just going to, yeah, we're just going to try this just out here real quick. Take for a little ride. Yeah, I'll just take it for a little ride here real quick. All right. Drop that down. Turn her on. Yeah, go behind me there. See how that cut looks. Pretty good. The blades look sharp. All right. Well, I may need some new blades eventually, but for now, I think it'll do. Okay, deal's done managed to get it for $650, which is not bad at all. Uh, Colton, you unload this lawnmower here real quick, and uh, we'll load up the other one. All right, you want to detach that bagger. It doesn't really work the best on this machine. Yeah, there, there we go. Okay, I think we'll keep it hooked up to this because uh, this has a lower drawbar, and it should work a lot better. Okay, are we gonna fit? Oh, oh, I'm spinning out. Colton, I, I need to push. Uh, I'm coming. There we go. Got her up there. Oh, and it fits too. Perfect. All right, and look at this mowing setup now. Colton, you might have parked it a bit close. How did you even get out of that, man? <laughs> Your skills. legs would be cut off. Skills. Skills? Okay. All right. You got it. the skills, apparently. Colton, those burritos still going through you? Mm-mm. You, uh, well, we're, we're going to play it safe. Just just hop on the back tractor there. Fine. Look, man, maybe you won't eat five breakfast burritos before you come to work. Hey, you did it the other day. Hey, but you weren't here the other day, so. That doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. Uh-uh. Look, just enjoy it. It's nice and breezy out there. It's not too bad. I'm driving next time. You're driving next time. Then I get to ride on the back. After getting our new mower picked up and Colton on the back, who was not very happy with his current situation, we made a pit stop at the gas station to get everything fueled up and ready to go for our first job of the day. Which, between the gas, diesel, and Colton snacks, ended up costing us $200. Not long after that, we pulled up to our first set of jobs, which would be four houses, the biggest block we've ever done before. But with two mowers, it shouldn't take very long. After getting the mowers unloaded with some difficulty, we fired everything up and got to work. With both mowers now running, we could now mow and clean up yards in a matter of minutes. With Colton cleaning up the first yard, I moved on to the second one, and it was looking like we were gonna have this done in record time. And with some mowing techniques more questionable than others, we got everything finished up and collected a cool $2,000 from all of our work. And after everything got loaded back up, it was back to the compound for our next job. All right, so we made it back to the compound here. Uh, Colton, you wanna go and uh, back up to the trailer? right over here, the skid steer trailer. Yep. So the reason why we're not hooking up my first gen to the uh, skid steer trailer here is because we're going to use that to haul some gravel. This is just going to make things easier. Yep. Oh, whoa, 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 a little back. Yep. There you go. Got her. All right. So we're getting the skid steer and a couple attachments tossed on the trailer here. We're headed to a job not too far away from here to clean up some trees, spread some gravel, all sorts of money making jobs. Frankly, these are the jobs that make us the most money. So I'm happy to do them any chance I get. All right. So Colton's in the first gen there. He's going to go grab some gravel for the project and I'm in his dually. I'm going to go take the skid steer out to the project there. So we're multitasking, trying to get as much as we can done. Ease, buddy. Stay in the lanes. Hey, you want to race? You want to race? You want to see who can go faster oh, oh so, i'm beating you I, i'm getting smoked smoked oh am i catching back up i think i'm catching back up i'm catching back up all right we had to slow down red light i was gonna pass you there dang it i'm so slow at the start too slow too slow i'm trying i'm oh, oh crap i got caught behind the red light you gotta be kidding me all right well i'll meet you at the job all right so we made it out to the job here colton's just pulling in he's got the gravel we need we're actually probably gonna need a bit more than what he's got. Anyways, we're here at my buddy's bin site. Well, I don't know if I can call him a buddy, but uh, I know him at least. Anyways, what he wants us to do is clean up all the trees around here, get them all chopped down and taken away because kind of a pain to load up these bins with these trees in the way. So we get those out of there for him. We're going to put in some gravel here, though it's not so soft when it rains. Got a couple pieces of equipment out here. Colton, wouldn't this be the mowing setup, huh? Oh yeah, no kidding. Holy smokes, this thing's huge. Hold on. I I want to see if the keys keys in it. The, the, the keys literally in it. Hmm. We could we could just Drive it. we could just take this and he wouldn't even know. Got it. No no no. Let's let's not let's not right now. Okay. So what I think we're gonna do here is we're gonna try to get all the trees cleaned up first and then uh, we'll spread the gravel around whatever we need to there. You want to take chainsaw out of the truck and just get to cutting? Try not to oh, drop yeah. the trees on anything too bad. Oh, lumberjack Colton's going to work getting all the trees down. Ah, oh, Colton, it landed in the field. Oops. That's okay. Oh boy, she's a little heavy for the skid steer. I think we got her though. I never realized how much easier jobs would be with two people. It's it's going so fast. It's not even funny. Oh, Colton, you got you got one more by the shed. Just drop that one away from the tractor, will you? I'll I'll try. Yeah, try not to get it in the field either. Just kind of like 
straight back the other way from the tractor. I really don't want to have that uh, tractor bill on me there, so. Oh, oh, it, is, it, is it going the right way? It, it's stuck now. Is this stuck, Colton? Yes. How is it stuck? What the heck? Uh, okay. Is this... Oh, 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 there it goes. Oh, okay. Well, it's in the field. That'll work. Better That's than on the shatter on the tractor. And that really cleans up that area. Now we just got to get the stumps, but we'll come back for those later. Or I think, I think the guy that owns this has a stump grinder. Yeah, he said we didn't even need to do them. I'll call him to double check, but I don't even think we need to uh, get rid of those. Watch out, Colton. Yep, I don't want to smack you with this. Oh, oops. And I know you have good insurance, man, but like, yeah, we're, we're not going to try test that out. Why not? Hey, you just got here. I, I don't need you getting hurt. All right. Uh, let's try to cut these up into some decent sized chunks so we can fit them on the trailer and we'll head down to the sawmill. Get some more money. All right. Is that everything? I think we got all the pieces. I think so. All right. Just double check here. I don't want to leave any pieces laying around here for his bat wing. Okay. Um, I think this tree should be good. Yeah. I just wanted the ones in the front side done. So that should be about it. All right. Uh, we'll fold these ramps up and you can get this down to the sawmill and get us some more money. Okay, so while Colton's doing that, I'm going to swap out the, uh, log fork on the skid steer here. We're going to get the bucket on there and we'll get to spreading some gravel. Okay, so first order of business here is to tear all this grass out. This center grass strip, we're just going to try to tear this out with a bucket. That way we don't have grass growing under that gravel. That's not ideal. Okay, everything's tearing down, leveled out. I think we're good to start spreading some gravel here. It's probably going to take a couple loads, but take too long. But I really need need is a dump trailer but that'll come down the road okay let's see if i'm still good at this this might be a little easier said than done we'll give it a try and move forward nice and slowly easy i'm gonna say this is gonna take mm, maybe two and a half loads of gravel yeah something like that yeah about two and a half anyways i'm gonna spread out what we have here once colton gets back i'll get him to take another load of gravel back here and uh yeah didn't take too long. Okay, so I ended up going to get the loads of gravel myself. Uh, I guess Colton uh, went to the sawmill there. He's just getting everything unloaded. It took a little longer than I thought. I guess uh, I forgot how far that sawmill is from here. Because this is probably the furthest we've worked out from our shop in quite a while. Oh, and Colton just sold the wood. $3,300. Okay, well, I guess uh, I'm going to tell him to come back here. We'll get skid steer loaded up and we'll get out of here. So that brings us to $6,733. Hey, making moves. All right, just made it back. Back to the compound again here uh we got paid from that job fifteen hundred dollars so that brings us up to eighty two hundred bucks not too bad Well, boys, it's another day back out here at the landscaping business. We got just over $8,000 in our bank account here. Uh, Colton's just ripped around on the trike this morning. Colton, are you being productive? Oh, very, very productive. Very, holy crap. Oh. <laughs> You okay? Oh, yeah. You landed that. Holy smokes. Colton, ba back out of there, bud. You're going to sink that thing. Bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. Anyways, uh, we got a lot of work to do today. Uh, as you can see, it's starting to be fall. Uh, not quite fall yet, but pretty dang close. Now, uh, with fall means winter is coming soon. But we got to start thinking about what we're going to be doing in winter, which is mostly going to involve a lot of snow plowing. So there's a particular machine I want to get, but it costs about eh, 50 to $60,000, depending on which model. That much money we don't have right now, but we still have quite a bit of a mowing season ahead of us. So we're going to continue on that. Anyways, I'm just pulling this trailer and truck up front here. Colton's going to load up his lawnmower and we're going to head out to a job first thing this morning. We can go make some more money. Yep. Just rip her right up there, Colton. Send it. Full send. All right, Colton, you just stay on there, bud. Oh, okay. Okay, so first task of the day here is fuel and breakfast. And Casey's always provides. All right, Colton, you get everything fueled up. I'm going to go grab us some breakfast. No, okay. All right, fuel and breakfast was paid for 200 bucks. Holy smokes. It's getting expensive nowadays. Hey, did you forget to wash the lawnmower? Maybe. Yeah, tag gum it, Colton. Okay. Hey, like, what are the chances an officer sees this and he, he doesn't really like the fact that you're riding on the back of a trailer on a lawnmower? Uh, you know, I think I'll be okay with it. I mean, you're wearing your seatbelt, right? Of course, of course. Safety of course, first. yes, yes. That, that lawnmower 100% has a seatbelt. Yep. Oh, yeah. We're just yeah. going to throw a ratchet strap over you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Back here at the neighborhood where I first started the business. This place is... uh. Worth a lot of money. That is if, uh, you know, a certain other company doesn't uh, steal our mowing jobs. But so far, we've, we haven't had many problems with that. They uh, they don't do the best work, so we kind of get to keep our customers. All right, back her off. Oh, easy now. Easy now. You're, you're going to the whoa, side of the trailer, whoa, whoa. Colton. I was going to say, did you have brown waters for breakfast or something? No. No, no, that's only on Saturdays, right? 
Yeah. All right, so the two jobs we got down here this morning is this house on the left and this house on the right. These ones shouldn't take too long. We do have to go into the backyard of this one, though, so I don't know how that's going to go. All right, so Colton's on lawn sweeping duty there, getting that all done. Oh, I think, did I go too far over here? No, no, it's this middle divider line. That's the property line here. We ain't cut nobody's grass for free. Well, unless it's one of our free jobs, but today, that's not the case. All right, so I finished my part in the front here. I'm going to run around to the backyard there, and Colton's going to finish up here. Hey, Colton. Yep. You missed the spot. Uh, yeah, I missed a few spots. <laughs> You'll get them later. All right. Yep. All right, Colton, you finish up on this. I'm going to rip to the other yard there. Okay. Okay, yard number one's done. I'm surprised we haven't had a Karen come out this early and, uh, you know, yell at us for mowing lawns at 8 a.m., but you know what? We're trying to get everything done before the, the sun comes out and everything gets too hot to work out here. All right, I'm finished up here with this yard. Uh, I don't know where the heck Colton is. He might still be in the backyard there. There was a lot of grass back there. Hey, Colton, I'm, I'm finished. Let's let's get her going, bro. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> that little John Deere doesn't go that fast. This thing's slow. Okay, well, you're finishing up this. I'm going to go uh, get us paid. And both jobs brought us in 780 bucks. Good money. Get money for our morning's work. All right, yeah, Colton, you just you just stay on there again. We're going to head over to the dealership. Oh, yeah. All right, check this thing out. This is the machine I was talking about that I want to buy. Isn't that fancy? I know, right? So it's like a skid steer side-by-side -side kind of deal. Uh, it's really expensive, but this one is used. I don't think it's going to be uh, 50 grand because that's what they cost new, which is ridiculous. I think this one's Jeez. closer to 35, which I think is more doable. Um, So it's got, you can basically attach any skid steer bucket to it, whatever, as not quite as much lifting capacity as a skid steer, but it's enough for snow removal and a little bit of landscaping work, which I think will work perfect. Did they just leave the keys in it? They did too. <laughs> I guess so. Uh-oh. That's not good. Anyway, huh, I think this thing actually might work good. I mean, we might as well test drive it. I suppose. I don't know. What do you think? She's nice. She's nice. This would this would be very useful. Yeah, it's got the four-wheel steer, so you can turn. Oh, well, yeah. not as good as a skid steer, but pretty dang close. Huh. This would be nice for wintertime. I know. I know. I just, I'm debating the price tag, man. Yeah, she comes with a nice price tag on her. I don't know. Maybe we can deal them down, but for now... We got some more work to do. All right, so we made it back to the compound here. Now, we have another job up for today, but uh, we're kind of waiting on a call back from that. Anyways, in the meantime, I've been debating selling the Duramax. Now, the reason why is because we have the first gen right here, and we need it because it has the dump bed for landscaping. But we now have Colton's Dooley, which works absolutely amazing. And I've kind of been debating selling this because we really just don't need it and we're not going to use it much. However, we may possibly pick something up today to replace it. I'm not going to sell this one just yet, but literally we we don't need it. I think and I think after what you guys see we're going to buy it today possibly. Yeah, we're definitely not going to need this thing. Anyways, uh Colton, you want to go get the first gen brought around here and we'll load up the skid steer? Yep. Uh, what do you think, Colton? Can we uh fit this in the bed? Oh, I think so. We'll give her a try. Okay, I think we're good to stick this in the bed. And we'll grab our bucket quick, of course, too. And after getting the phone call that the job was ready, Colton was going to head there while I went and picked up something else. The dump trailer rental. Because, well, we didn't have the money to buy our own one just yet. However, before completely leaving the city, I did grab one more rented item that we would be needing for our job. And for the day's rent, it all totaled up to about $700. After making it out to the job, we got the info from the customer about what needed to be done. Basically, all the trees need to be chopped down, and this entire area needs to be gone over with a bush hog so the client can put solar panels in the area and not to mention there was a few things that needed to be moved out before we could get to work shortly after colton arrived not driving on the road and we began getting everything that wasn't needed tossed into the trailer after everything was loaded colton made a dump run and i got to work with the mulcher after getting everything small mulched up and out of the way colton got to cutting some of the bigger trees i got to loading them up in the dump trailer so we could take them to the sawmill to make a little more money after the dump trailer was filled up it was off to the sawmill to see how much money we could make and make money we did considering we made an extra 1600 from just the first load and with the last two loads bringing us just under five thousand dollars i sure wasn't complaining with the property now free and clear of trees it was on to mowing all the brush and cleaning up all the grass and in the meantime i sent colton to go get us some gravel so we could finish up the road
All right, mowing is finished. Uh, well, that was getting done. Colton went and spread all the gravel out. I think it took him three loads or so. So we're gonna go uh, grab the bucket, this, get this spread out real quick for the uh, customer. And I think that's about it for this job. This one took a while. This was an all day one. All right, everything's finished. Got that piece of property completely cleaned out. The gravel road is now in and we just got paid. 5,500 bucks, which brings us up to exactly $20,000. Hey, Colton, you got an idea of what we should do with that cash? I do. Do as well. We're going to get everything returned here. I'm going to get uh, this trailer and the mulch returned, and Colton's going to run back to the shop, and then I think I'm going to go spend some money. All right, so me and Colton dropped everything off back at the shop there. I'm actually back across the river here because we're going to go take a look at a truck. It should be... Right around here somewhere. Thought it would be. Oh, the guy's supposed to meet us. Not sure where he's at. Oh, never mind. Just across the street. So this is it. Oh boy, Colton's already in there. Uh, a Honda mini truck. Uh, by, by the looks of it, Colton, I, I'd say you want this thing, hey? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so it's a Honda mini truck. Uh, the guy, I think the guy wants like, what? 3500 bucks for it? Nothing too crazy, actually, for a little mini truck like this. Anyways, our thoughts with this, it'd be really cool. to get a little trailer for it. We put a whole mowing setup on it. And it's a done deal. And considering we don't have to travel very far, and I'm I'm sure this thing could tow a decent trailer, we don't really need a big like diesel truck. Anyways, Colton, you gonna take it for a test drive? Oh yeah. All right, he's already going. And that so that actually has a diesel in it, surprisingly enough. But it's a small diesel, so it burns next to nothing for fuel. And he just went right over the curb. Yep. <laughs> what do you think, Colton? Sounds great. Well, we bought it, thirty-five hundred bucks down the drain, but we got ourselves a mini truck. Col Colton's just going crazy with it now. Oh boy. All right. So we're going to head over to tractor supply there and get this thing all kitted out to be a mowing setup. We're going to grab a little trailer there as well. And uh, yeah, this thing should be great. It's even got a little go light on it. So if we're ever mowing at night, I guess we're good to go there. It's got a toolbox. Like this thing is perfect. Everything we ever needed for a mowing truck. We're going to have a whole fleet of these eventually. Well, we spent an extra $1,500 at tractor supply. But this is how we have this thing kitted out now. So we got the mini truck, got some gas cans, a lawnmower in the back, and then a little mini trailer, and then the zero turn behind that. And this has got to be the coolest flipping mowing setup out. Don't you think, Colton? Oh, yeah, this thing's sick. This is the setup I probably should have started with when I started the mowing company. This would have been ideal. But for now, this is Colton's little mowing setup, and then I can focus on a lot more landscaping stuff, which gives us a lot more money. However, I still owe $50,000 on this property, so I think we're going to take 10000 of that, which leaves us 5000 We only owe 40000 on this property. And there we go. Chunk taken out of that. Well, boys, it's another day back out here on the landscaping business. We have, well, now $4,099. Okay, we had $5,000, uh, but now we don't. Anyway, Colton's washing the equipment. How's it going, Colton? Oh, it's going good, man. You? Oh, not too bad. Can't complain. Other than the fact that I only hit, I have one dollar less now. We had five thousand before. Now we don't. What the heck, man. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Better watch this. Anyway, we're keeping the Duramax, so we gotta go make some more money if we want to go buy some stuff before winter. Anyways, we got the sweet new mowing rig here. I think I'm gonna take this out and go do a job or two. I think we got what was, what was the calls this morning? I think we got two separate jobs. I think so. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna go out do those quick. And then Colton's going to run into town, grab some parts and stuff. And then I think we got a big job planned for later on today. But uh, yeah, I'm going to get to work. This is what we call a mobile car wash, boys. <laughs> run, Colton, run, run. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> All right, I'll see you in a bit. Oh, we're just in town here across the river. Oh, what is that? I think that one's for sale. I saw that up on Facebook Marketplace. That's a whole equipment setup, 25 grand, which is an absolute steal of a deal. Not that this morning. I was thinking about going to take a look at it. Maybe I will later today. Now, well, we don't have 25 grand. Eventually, maybe, if it doesn't sell here real quick, maybe I'll be able to afford it. All right, so these are the two jobs we got this morning. The house right here and the house behind us. It'd be pretty quick jobs. These don't tend to take long and they pay well. Frankly, those are the best kinds of jobs. All right, we'll just get this thing unloaded here. Oh, there goes Colton. He's off to the parts store. We needed, uh, I think, a new oil filter for the skid steer. Oh, yet again, my worst enemy, flipping trash cans. All right, first yard's done. Like I said, these are really fast jobs, so it does not take long at all once you get going. Although with this customer, this lawn that they have right here gets uh, 
pretty big and they only ask me to come and mow it every two weeks which is a bit ridiculous when you think about it because the amount of rain and stuff we get along here yeah it's just gets way too tall and it takes a lot longer to mow but oh well job still a job as long as i'm getting paid oh colton's calling me hello hey uh austin yeah what's up bud yeah we got a little bit of a problem uh-oh what happened so driving across the bridge yeah come up to the intersection uh huh car decides they don't want to stop Ah, uh, you gotta be kidding you got you get t-boned are you okay yep i know that intersection too and cars tend to not stop there Oh my mm -hmm. goodness. Truck's totaled. Tow truck driver's already here, hooking it up, taking it away. I I'm good, but the truck's totaled. Ah, son of a gun, dude. That was our work truck. I know, ah. man. That one's not cheap either. Those those Duramaxes there, they're getting pretty expensive to replace, especially those older ones, because they're in such high demand. These truck boys want to just get them and mod them out, and you can't find ones like that very cheap anymore I'm getting hard to find too ah son of a gun okay um i'll call insurance i'm just as long as you're good um shoot i'm just about done this job uh are you good for another like 15 minutes there because i'm like across the river right now mowing. oh yeah 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 take your time okay uh i will just finish up this job i will come and get you and i guess i'll call insurance and we'll get it taken care of okay sounds good okay i will see you in a few okay later son of a gun trucks totaled off well, I'm just about finished here, so we'll just get loaded up, collect our pay, and we are out of here. All right, first try. Let's see if we can get it going on this trailer here. It's always a pain because the trailer's not quite wide enough. Gotta be really careful. And we got it. Perfect. Wrap that down real quick. Hold up our ramps, and let's go get paid. All right, $750 in the bank from these two jobs here. Now, normally we come here with the bagger and bag all this grass up, but the clients have requested to leave it on there since it's close to the end of the year, and uh, the mowed grass provides a lot of extra fertilizer for the uh, lawn itself. So, always good to leave a little bit on there. But Colton just texted me, said the tow truck just left there, so we're about, I don't know, three minutes away from him, so we'll go grab him and get him back to the shop there. Luckily, he's okay. Holy smokes, there he is. Colton, you okay, buddy? Oh, yeah, I'm great. <laughs> You're great. Well, you just crashed a truck while someone crashed into you. Holy nah, that's smokes. Right. Well, as long as you're okay, that's that's the good part there. Right. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping insurance will give me a good chunk of change for that truck because of their uh, value right now, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, I hope so. All right, boys, it is the next day here. Uh, we got in contact with insurance last night, and uh, they should be giving me a call here in about an hour or so to uh, tell us how much we're going to get for that truck. Colton's okay, a little bit rattled up, but uh, he's back to work this morning. I told him he should take the day off, but no, guy's still back at work. Just cleaning up the yard here. Doing a little bit of mowing. I ended up finding a replacement truck for the Duramax. So we're going to go take a look at that later today. But uh, if insurance gives us enough, which from how they're talking, they're going to give us a pretty good chunk of change. We may be able to uh, go look at some other equipment here and whatnot. Hey, Colton, don't put that thing into the river now. Oh, don't worry. I won't. Careful. Car might come out of nowhere and T-bone you. Never know. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Bad joke, bad joke. Colton, your camper's a little bit heavy for the old mower here. Man, I think you got too much rice aroni in the fridge. Hey, 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 no. All right, yard's looking a little more cleaned up. Colton's been at work. I've just been moving stuff around for him here, but uh, got a call from insurance. Told us where we're going to be getting paid, and it should hit our account any minute now. And holy smokes, that's a lot of cheddar, a lot of monies. Colton, any guesses on uh, the insurance we got for that truck? Uh, say around 20 grand 20 grand uh somewhere around there probably about 10,000 more than that 30 grand for that truck 30 yeah i guess they valued it because it had such low hey. kilometer or miles it was just hey. like really crazy value i'm i mean we'll take it we'll take it we'll take it so we have an extra thirty thousand dollars to play around with right now and uh I think we're going to go take a look at another truck and then possibly I think we're going to have enough money left over to maybe go buy something else. Oh, that'd be sweet. All right. We're just pulling up here and there is the truck. Colton, what do you think? I like it. Second gen Dodge Dually. Like I said, oh, we've been yeah. needing more Dualies and I think this might be the move. Now, uh, it's a little bit rusty, a little bit on the rustier side and a little bit higher miles, but I think it'll do. I think this thing suits you perfectly. This thing's perfect. It's got a whole oh, wait. Dude, look at the, Did you see the dent in the side? Holy smokes. Oof. Oof. 
That's a little rough. A couple dents in the door. Yeah, this thing's definitely seen some better days, but and it does have a plow mount, which is nice. All right, may as well take it for a little bit of a ride here real quick. I don't worry. I'll try. I won't crash this one, I swear. <laughs> try not to. Oh, I mean, if you do, it's not the end of the world. It's already got a couple dents in it. Here it comes. What'd you think of it? Oh, easy now. This thing drives nice. Yeah, for how many uh, how many miles are oh, on it? Yeah. How kind of rough it is. That, oh, yeah. She'll be a good worker. That poor bumper has seen some better days, too. <laughs> All right. Well, the tires are good on it. It has a slow oil leak, but other than that, I think it'll do, hey? Yeah, it should be a solid work rig. All righty. Well, I'm going to go offer the guy uh, well, something. I don't know. Not the greatest truck. Not the prettiest thing to look at, but it will will do the job that we need it to. New work rig acquired, 6500 bucks. He wanted eight. I told him he was ridiculous for that. So I got it for 65 which is not a horrible deal, especially for a second gen. All right, Colton, follow me. We got one more stop on our spending money journey today. What are you buying now? Oh, uh, shoot. I haven't told you yet. Okay, well, it's just right up the road here. Okay. And here we are. A tractor? Yep. Well, not just any tractor. The yard tractor. Oh, okay. All right. So normally these things are an arm and a leg when it comes to price, but the guy needs it gone ASAP here. He's moving. He's selling this place. This might actually be a cool place to buy. Hmm, who knows? Anyways, he wants it gone. The tractor alone is about, uh, hmm, I don't know, 14 grand. Then you got all the implements. So all said and done, uh, maybe a bit more than 14. Actually, yeah, I forgot there's this digger on the back. So yeah, that in itself is five grand. So yeah, we're looking at about... 30 32 he wants 25 for it i think we can i think we can swing 25 i don't know what do you think colton i think we can do 25 yeah there's a lot of different attachments here which i think might help out with uh, a couple extra projects all right i'll see i'll try deal them down just a little bit deal's done colton what do you think i got it for 27 27 22 5 yeah, i said 20 I said 25 beforehand that's what he wanted for it i dealed him down a little bit so 22 5 i think that's a pretty solid deal for something like this i'd say it's a good deal with all the attachments all right well i guess we got a lot of loading to do so let's get her done okay we should be good on the road here for about like two minutes real quick while we load up some of this stuff hey colton you're just gonna ride on the back seat here while i load up some stuff yep i'm just gonna chill back here that seems comfy all right sorry guys sorry we're, we're blocking traffic we're just about done here Hold on a minute. Oh, crap. Colton, we got a problem. What? I don't know if we're going to fit it all on here. Maybe we can swing uh -oh. this over just a little bit. Hold on. <laughs> idea. Yes. Yeah, that'll, that'll fold it up. Oh, yeah. That'll be perfect. Yeah, that. there we I go. Okay. Hop back in the second gen. We'll get this back home. Okay. Yikes. The DOT would be loving us today. Okay. We may have also caused a little bit of a traffic jam. You're just cutting around. It just went through a red light. Holy smokes, I absolutely dusted Colton. He's way the heck back there. I can't even see the guy. I'm hauling a trailer too. <laughs> you just cut through the ditch, Colton. What are you doing, bro? I was just testing out the new worker. Oh my goodness. Hey, come on, man. You gotta test the thing out. Ah, fair enough, fair enough. You gotta make sure it works. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it works. Okay, so we're taking off a couple of these attachments so we can actually use this thing as a normal tractor. We got some projects coming up here that uh, we can now do. I mean, either way, we're going to have to buy some sort of a utility tractor at some point. The skid steer just can't do everything we needed to. And this was like the perfect deal. And it has a 72 inch deck on it. Colton, through the ditch? You must have a thing with ditches. Hey, it's fun. Well, yeah, but it's, it's going to break something sooner or later. Nah. All right. Well, this thing can't handle crazy <laughs> angles or bumps, but it can actually leave a very nice cut. But I think I'm going to let Colton handle the rest of this with the uh, with the skid steer mower there. Those angles are too much for this thing. I don't want to flip it over. Hey, Colton, check this out. I can actually back it up right. Oh, nope. Wrong one. Nope. Still wrong one. I can't get it. There we go. Forgot. Finally got it. Can't say. Did you forget how to use a hitch or what? Yeah, sometimes. Man, this thing's slick. All right. Check it out. Everything's organized, mowed, and... Shop's looking good. We're only $40,000 in debt. Rest of it's just to pay off the land. And we got about $7,000 in the bank account here, so I cannot complain. Well, boys, it's another day back out here at the landscaping business. Colton is getting our trailer and uh, lawnmower here washed up, ready to be sold. That's right. We're selling these, too. Along with the lawn sweeper, I guess. 
3500 bucks. the guy's coming to pick it up here any minute now, and uh, we're possibly gonna go get a new trailer today, along with something really cool I haven't told Colton yet, but uh, that, that's, that's a little more down the road here, and it's gonna cost us a lot of money. Money we currently don't have, because we only have about $6,000 right now. We gotta go make some. Colton, is this thing ready to go? Just about, just about. Just about? Okay, well, the guy should be here any second now, so get her finished up. Oh, here's the guy. Oh, he just smoked a deer, and he's driving a Chevy Avalanche. Go figure, I guess. Colton, Colton, the guy's taking it. You gotta get off, man. I, I can't let this thing go, man. This thing's my baby. Dude, dude, I, I promise we're gonna upgrade next year, okay? It's, this just has to go for the time being. We haven't really used it much, so time for it to go. Gotta let it go. That's fair. Alrighty, $3,500 in the bank. Brings us up to about ten grand. So not sitting too, too bad at the moment. All right, so Colton's in the mini truck here. Uh, he's just gonna go head out, do a couple of mowing jobs real quick this morning, and he ran into the pressure water. Colton, almost ran over me. Watch out, man. Sheesh, you're a menace in that thing. All right, anyway, he's gonna go do a couple jobs here, and we're gonna head out to the little deal I've been working on over the last couple weeks here, and probably pick up a new trailer in the meantime. All right, we're just pulling up here to the place. Now, uh, some of you may or may not remember where I did a video mowing this guy's lawn that owned this property anyways i mowed it for free cleaned up his property a little bit but um he decided he wanted to move he had a mobile home so he just moved it i, I have no idea where anyways he's giving me first crack at the property for buying it and uh with buying it we acquire everything else on the property now i haven't really looked at this place all i can really see is what's here so i think the plan with this is we've got a loan approval from the bank that we can buy this place and we're gonna take all the junk out cut down all the trees landscape the property get it looking nice and then sell it and hopefully make a bunch of money now this place ran me about forty thousand dollars so with the other forty thousand dollars we have owing on the current shop property that brings us up to about eighty thousand dollars in debt however if we were to clean this place up, get all the junk out of it, landscape it, get all the trees out of here that are blocking the laneway, this is prime real estate building property, so we could probably sell it for a heck of a lot more than that. That's kind of the idea here. Anyways, I think I'm going to give the bank a call, get this deal done, and in the meantime, we're going to go pick up a new trailer because uh, we're going to need it. But I know the old guy that owned this said there was a couple things in the back of the property there, kind of in the shrub, so we're going to go uh, take a look at that a little bit later today. Well, I'm just pulling up to the dealership here, and there's our brand new flatbed trailer. Oh man, that looks a lot better than the last one we had. Holy smokes, that thing's nice. Diamond C, double axle, got the ramps. Yeah, this is gonna be perfect. All right, 4,500 bucks down the drain, but very worth it. It helped us out a lot. Anyways, before I head back to the uh, shop there, I gotta stop at the bank. Make some arrangements for the new property, and I think Colton's still working there, so hopefully that makes us a bit of extra money in the meantime. Okay, so it's been a couple hours here, just pulling back up to the shop. I think Colton's back there. Colton, what you think? New trailer. This thing's pretty fancy. Oh yeah, Diamond C, brand spanking new. A lot better than the other one, mm -hmm. hey? Way nicer. Anyways, uh, how much do you make for moment today? Uh, 750 bucks. Oh, not too bad. No, not bad at all. So that brings us back up to six grand. Okay, I can I can deal with that. So I I made a fairly big purchase, Did and uh, we're gonna go check it out in a little bit here. But we gotta load up some equipment first because uh, it requires a lot of work and cleaning. I don't know about this. Now you'll see, you'll see, you'll you'll like it, you'll like it. Okay. All right. So we're gonna need the uh, John Deere here. I uh, should we take? I don't think we'll need the uh, mower deck on it. We'll need the uh, box blade. That's about it. Oh, the box blade and the grapple. And we're also gonna need the skid steer and this new trailer's slick. That's money I've spent in a while. Colton, you got the tractor all set? Yeah, she's ready to go. Perfect. All right, load her up. We'll get out of here. Oh, don't take it through the ditch, man. Come on now. Oh, settle down, settle down. All right, I think we're ready to go here. Uh, Colton, you want to take your truck and I'll take the uh, Dodge? Yeah, sure. Okay, just follow me. We may need to run back and grab some other attachments later, but for now, we should be able to manage, I think. Okay, Colton, any guesses on... Uh, okay, you're just off the road. Anyways, oh. any guesses on what we're, what we're buying? I have no idea. All right. All right. Fair enough. Holy smokes, man. Settle down. Hey, you're, you're going past. Remember when I said follow me? <laughs> what are you talking about? I didn't hear you say that. All right. This is it. This is what we bought. This. A piece of property. Yeah. For a bigger shop. No, no, no. We're, uh, we're going to fix this place up, get it all landscaped, and resell the property because it's prime real estate building. Ah, smart thinking. Smart thinking. Yeah. So we pretty much bought everything on the property here. Uh, we have free reign on whatever, and it looks like there's a couple things back here. I haven't explored back behind the brush there, but I've been told there's a couple things back there. What's this thing? Uh, 
it's I don't, I don't even know what you call it. it it's something i think the the city used to have it they used to uh do a lot of road work and i think snow removal with this thing it's basically a truck with a loader on it hmm interesting anyway it's got a mower in the back uh i know this mower doesn't work because i went and did a free mow for this guy when he had his his whole mobile trailer thing here and since then he's moved but yeah now now it's ours yeah this mower looks good still yeah i think the motor's blown in it but it it yeah. could still be functional i guess i don't know uh anyway the, the engine puller on, on the front of the truck does not uh not look very good oh boy colton i think this is suit you perfect i think this might have to be mine if it runs dude this thing's older than me and you put together oh we can get this thing running uh maybe maybe we'll see all right i'm curious what's in the brush back here uh, an old car this is scrap for sure it looks like it was burnt up it does oh dude this brush is so thick what is this thing what the heck i don't even know what this thing is oh it's a cultivator dude but what is this okay is it a skid steer I think, I think it is so. what is it oh. this thing's gonna be old oh it's Did a massey it ferguson oh you're already right at home in there <laughs> hold on try, try to turn the key try to turn the key oh, okay anything no nah, nothing nope that doesn't surprise me dang this thing is like buried in here holy smokes okay i guess that's one thing we got to drag out anything else back here it's like walking through a jungle holy smokes oh found something it's over here what, what'd you find this is an yeah. old oh what is it a ford i want to say it's a ford maybe a gmc Okay, so I think it might be GMC. Truck. It is GMC. This, this thing's thing old. Flipping old. Holy smokes. Yeah, I'm not too sure. I think this this might be scrap. I'm not too sure. I don't know. Okay, that's all I can see unless there's something else back here, but I don't think so. I think that's about it. Okay. I think, I think we found everything. So a couple things to drag out here, I guess, and a lot of junk to clean up. Now, as well... Well, I think I want to take down all the trees here. So we can clean up this property a little bit more. We might have to go rent a stump grinder eventually, but for now we should be okay. All right, you want to go uh, grab the skid steer? We'll try and mow out some of this uh, brush. Yep. Dude, there's a flipping boat here. What? Yeah, <laughs> there's a boat. A rotted one, but it's a boat. Holy smokes. So it's not going to float? I don't think so. I think it's way past this floating days. There you go. Get a, all this brush cleared out of here. So we can actually see what we're doing. Holy smokes, we can actually see what we're looking at. And you just backed into our brand new pieces of equipment. Well, brand new to us, I guess. You didn't see that. Yeah, it is a skid steer. Why is it hooked to a cultivator? That's confusing. It's cool looking. All right, so we've been at this for a little while now. We got uh, new fuel in it, new battery. Uh, the fuel lines are probably just about shot, but we'll see what we can do. Colton's got the ether. I'm going to try to give, uh, give her a crank here. All right, try to give her a spray. Close. I'm spraying it. Oh, almost. You going? Man. Going. You going? Yep, we're running. Sweet. Oh, dude, the hydraulic. <laughs> Look how slowly it moves. Oh, my God. I'm going to try to move it a little bit. Hey, there's a hydraulic leak on the ground over here. Oh, okay. I guess. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm going to see if I can try and move it. Move? Before it runs out of hydraulic fluid here. We're moving. Except oh. I'm hitting a tree now. Yeah, there we go. We're moving. These tires are basically flat. All right, I'm going to stop it right there. The better question is, why does it have a, a disc on the back? That is very odd. Or cultivator, I guess. Huh. It does have hydraulic hookups, so I guess it technically makes sense, but this is way too big to be being on a skid steer. That's what confuses me. i it wasn't sunk into the ground a bunch. All right, Colton, I'm going to give you a push. This thing really does not want to move forward. Just sliding it pretty much. All right, that should be about good, I think. All right, the truck is the next project here. Uh, I think... You want to go pop the hood here? We'll see if... Uh, that still has an engine in it. Hopefully it does. Yeah, there's an engine in it. Hey, I'm just trying to find the, the keys here. Can't see any. Huh, that's not ideal. Check the glove box. Oh, yep, they're in the glove box. Okay, hey, all right. Test fire number one. New batteries, a little bit of fuel in her. These old pickups should go pretty easy. Oh, that, that was close. Oh, I think we're going. Staying running. She's running. She's running. All right, in the reverse. It moves too. Holy smokes. We're moving. This thing is running rough though. Holy smokes. Okay, well, I think that's most of everything other than that truck back there. You want to go grab the uh, skid steer there, and we'll get to trying to mow that out. Okay. And the rest of this is pretty much just junk and scrap, so we'll get a little bit of money for that, but not a whole heck of a lot. We actually may just have a scrap truck come out and just clean up a lot of this. Okay, we got the old rig cleaned out here. You can actually see it. Colton, you want to try hop in it and see if you can steer the, the truck just a little bit? I'll try. I can try pick up the front end here. Not really letting me, though. Oh. Might have it. There we go. I guess I don't really need you to steer it. I can kind of just pick up the front end. And there it is. Okay, so we got pretty much everything cleaned out that we wanted to. Uh, the rest of this is 
really just scrap and uh i think a lot of it we're gonna try to get rid of i'm gonna give the scrap people a call we'll uh see what they can take out of here and i think the rest will just run to the dump because well a lot of this is just useless junk and then i think colton's gonna continue trying to mow back this brush here try uh clean it up a little bit so we can actually see the river and then we should be good to go over the next few days we got equipment cleaned up and loaded up onto trailers and we ended up selling some of the equipment and scrap for a nice profit after all the junk was cleaned out we got the mowing and landscaping the property to yield a higher price when it was ready to sell however we still had another problem trees so after renting a stump grinder for the day that costed us about 500 dollars we got to cutting them down delimbing them and getting the stumps ground down we got everything loaded up and ready to go to the sawmill holy smokes that is one big load of logs all right colton you gonna run this uh, up to the sawmill for me yep i'll be back okay perfect sounds good that should be a lot of money right there anyways the property is all mowed all the junk's cleaned out. We got all the trees that we didn't want cleaned out. It is looking real good. We just got a bit more landscaping to do here and there. But other than that, we are pretty much done. And uh, I've already got some people interested in this place. So it should sell pretty soon here when we're finished. And we're looking to make a big profit. Anyways, uh, we sold a lot of the stuff other than the skid steer and the uh, loader truck there. We made about $10,000 off that, which is really, really good. Anyways, not too sure what we're going to do with the skid steer and this truck just yet, but I'm pretty sure we'll find a use for it. If not, we might sell them. Maybe we'll leave it up to you guys, but uh, we're going to have to run back and pick up some equipment so we can finish this here real quick. Oh, looks like Colton got out of the sawmill there. Uh, 4200 bucks. Okay, that brings us just under twenty grand. Dang, that's pretty good. I'm just working with the box leveler right now, trying to smooth out some of the spots that are uh, messing up the lawn. Oh, Colton's back already. Perfect. Okay, Colton, you want to run this uh, tractor back to the yard there, and I'm going to take the other skid steer. Okay. I'm going to beat you there, though. Okay, Colton's going to run back, grab the rest of the stuff here. I'm going to unload the skid steer here. We seem to have it running. It's running really rough, but uh, should be able to get it off the trailer here. We'll try our best. Well, we're moving. This thing's definitely going to need some new fuel lines and probably an oil change and a bunch of other stuff. But for now, we're going to try to get it cleaned up a little bit. And I don't know. We might sell it, try to make a profit. I guess we'll see. Dang, that is looking a lot better already. We get this thing mechanically good. Quick paint job. We could turn around and sell this thing for a good amount of money. All right, so we're just headed back to the property. I dropped about 400 bucks on fertilizer here. I grabbed the uh, tractor again with the fertilizer spreader. We're just going to go around there, try a clean up some of the grass, get it growing a little bit better, even though they're probably going to tear it all out for a house, but makes the property look a little bit better. So can't complain there. All right, I got the uh, fertilizer loaded in here. Just going to lay some of this down. Looks like Colton's back here to grab the skid steer. I just ran into a street sign. Luckily, those things are built tough. And make sure you remember to strap that thing down. We won't don't want an incident like uh, Thursday. Last Thursday there. All right, got the last of the fertilizer spread here. Just going to load this back up, and we'll head on back. All right, so it is the next day here. Colton's working on the, on the skid steer here. Any progress? A little bit, a little bit. Got the fuel lines changed out? Yep. Hey, I guess just that uh, hydraulic leak, which uh, that hose should be ready around 12, the guy said. Okay. All right. Well, uh, anyways, the property's finished. I got a couple offers, and I've decided to accept one for $70,000, which is uh, a bit ridiculous considering we only spent, what, $40,000 plus whatever cleaning it up, and we got ten grand for the other crap that was on the property? I don't know. Do you there think you that's, a, that's a good deal? Oh, I'd say it's a pretty good deal. Yeah, can't complain with that. So that should be coming into our account here any minute now. Just got off the phone with the guys, so accepted it. And there's 70 grand. Holy smokes. That's, we're, dude, we're almost at 90,000. But, but, but $40,000 of that is still owed to the bank. True. All right. So 40 grand down the drain to pay back the bank for the loan to buy that. And we still have $40,000 owning on this place, or I guess owing on this place. So, yeah. We can either pay that off, or what I'm thinking before it becomes winter is possibly build a house. I think so. Yeah, the campers are not ideal. I guess we'll see. Well, boys, it's another day back out here at the landscaping business. We got $49,000 in the bank account, and uh, the skid steer that we got in the last episode, we pulled out of the bush. We have gotten it restored. However, it has costed us about $3,000, $2,000 in new paint, and about $1,000 in new hydraulic lines, new starter, a couple other little things, but we have gotten this thing absolutely mint now. So I was doing some research before I put this thing up for sale, just seeing what I could kind of get out of it. I thought originally I'd only be able to get like four or 
$6,000. Turns out that these things are actually a little bit rare, and with a completely restored like this with a professional paint job, it's worth about $12,000. So I listed it up for $12,000, had a guy contact me within 10 minutes of it being up, and he's on his way here right now. He should be showing up any minute now. Anyways, this thing's in perfect working order. Now, the reason why we didn't decide to keep it is because we really just don't need a skid steer like this. It doesn't have a cab. It doesn't have the necessary hydraulic ports for us to hook attachments up to. It's really just not necessary to have. So I'd rather sell it, get the $12,000 out of it, and put that towards something else for snow removal this winter. Oh, here's the guy. Perfect timing. Anyway, Colton's somewhere around here. Might be in his camper, I guess. All right, he's all loaded up. Just gonna write me a check here real quick. Dang, this guy's got a nice truck. Man, too bad Colton's not out here to see this. And $12,000 in the bank account. Can this guy get out of the driveway? Perfect. There we go. 12 grand in the bank account. I am pretty dang happy with that. And that is not the only thing leaving today. Uh, the Big Tex trailer, the lawn care trailer. Now, we want to go to something different next year, so this thing is going. We sold it for $8,000. It's like a trade-in deal. We got $8,000 for it. One of these Big Tex trailers that we want to switch it out for is about $4,500. So we'll get a little bit of a kickback from trading this in. Anyway, plan for today is we're going to be building a house. And not just any house, a shop house. Because winter's coming, and frankly, I do not want to spend the winter in this camper, nor does Colton want to spend the winter in his. Anyways, if you guys remember, we took this thing down from a mountain. We ended up getting it for free, but the axles are shot on it, along with a bunch of other things, and we've managed to fix a lot of those things, but it wasn't cheap. There was actually a bunch of problems on the inside and all that, so that's really why they gave this camper away for free, and we spent a couple thousand getting it down here. So in total, we spent about $7,500 to get this thing to where it's sellable. And I've had it listed for a while now. I have a guy coming to look at it today. And it's got to go regardless because this is right where the house is going to go. And I'm not sure if Colton's going to sell his camper yet. Oh, you're finally out of bed. Hey, I was tired, okay? Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, Uh, you know what we're doing today, right? No. You, you didn't You didn't hear me talking to the camera outside? No. Okay, well, the, the guy came and picked up the skid steer, so that's gone. Oh, that's good. Anyways, um, we're selling my big camper. I'm not sure if you want to sell yours yet, but we're, we're building the house. We're finally getting out of the camper. Yeah, I, I want to get rid of this thing. Okay, <laughs> I don't know how much you're gonna get for it. I mean, it's in pretty rough shape, man. Hey, if it goes, it goes. And fair enough. If it doesn't go, you know what we can do with it? We can drive through it with skid steer. Perfect. Or and we'll turn it into a flatbed after that. Okay, I don't know about that one. Hey, uh, it was... the frame. The frame's not all the way there. Yeah, fair enough. Someone will turn it into like a ice fishing shack or something. I'm not too sure. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna get you to do today. So the uh, the mowing trailer there. Yep. Yeah, that's that's going back to the dealership, and uh, we're picking up in second Diamond C flatbed trailer, the one that's on your truck. Picking up another one of those. Oh, sweet. Yeah. So if you want to go run that to the dealership, paperwork's already done. You just got to go sign for it. Perfect. All right. Sounds good. I'll see you in a little bit. All right. So while he's doing that, I have been organizing all the equipment, trying to get it uh, ready and put away for the winter. Since we're not going to be needing a lot of it, I think we have a couple mowing jobs left for the year, but that is it. And we're going to have to start thinking about snow removal stuff. So this loader truck that we recovered from the last job, uh, we got it running good. Everything seems okay on it. We replaced a couple hydraulic lines. We got some extra from the skid steer there, so kind of just replaced them. It seems good. I think we're going to try running for uh, this year with snow removal. Not too sure what's going to happen. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so I'm going to take Colton's truck here, and we're going to get this camper hooked up. Kind of a weird time to be selling a camper. Usually, they don't sell this time of year. However, the person I have interested in it, they want it ASAP, and they're willing to pay a good amount of money for it. I think roughly $30,000, which is really, really nice. So they'll be coming to look at it and hopefully take it home here soon. Maybe they plan to live it in for the winter, but I am not going to do that. However, it is going to take a little while to get our shop house built, so uh, me and Colton may be living in a hotel for a little bit. It's going to cost a little bit of money, but uh, I'm okay with that. I'm not sure what Colton's got laying around in this trailer, but uh, whatever it is, it's probably been tipped over and knocked around at this point. Let's grab our bucket here real quick. Oh, Colton's back. Got us a new trailer. Okay, so 3500 bucks extra. All right, we're moving up in the world. More money. All right, so I got the loader off the tractor here. Anyways, we're going to take this, disc out the area of the house, and then flatten it up with the skid steer. Make it all nice and pretty. I'm not sure if we're going to take out the shed yet. Uh, I don't know. We'll see how the building plans go. Now, we don't as of yet have enough money for the house. It's going to cost us roughly $60,000. And we only have about $54,000. So I'm hoping with the sale of my camper, 
and maybe some other miscellaneous stuff around here we can get to where we need to be all right so i got the outline of this going now i don't trust colton to do the outline because well it's colton so i'm gonna do the outline and then i'll let him fill it in and then he's just gonna go ham over there with his kids what are you colton what are you doing bro nothing oh my goodness this is why our equipment breaks you know this right what are you talking about nothing breaks around here uh-huh uh-huh how about the uh how about, how about the duramax what, what, what happened there hey that was the other guy's fault yeah fair enough fair enough okay i'm gonna get you to uh disc up the rest of this here while i work on some other things okay hey have you seen my three wheeler i've been looking for that thing uh nope nope haven't seen it anywhere man it's probably in the last place to put it Are you sure well yeah where'd, where'd you last put it in the shop or what uh as far as i remember huh maybe someone stole it i hope not now what colton doesn't know is that thing's been up on the shelf for the last week and he's been looking for it he's asked me like this is the fifth time he's asked me and he still has not noticed it's up on the shelf it's the most hilarious thing ever guys just been looking everywhere for it and not find it all right so colton finished up disc in the uh part that we needed disc so i'm gonna start flattening this out anyway the guy for the camper showed up and believe it or not colton is like the best negotiator surprisingly enough he's not good at many other things but negotiating that's one thing you can do best isn't that right colton you kind of just gotta be a professional you know all right well how about you go use your negotiating skills on uh camper guy over there see if you can get it sold for 30. i'll try all right so the landscaping part of this we can handle however the uh building process me and colton aren't too good at that so we're just gonna hire a contractor to do this that's why it's costing us a little bit more the sixty thousand. but once it's done we should have a very nice place holy smokes did colton sell it i think he did the guy's pulling out of here i think he sold my camper told you the guy's the best now the question is what price did he get for it though yeah we'll see what he says uh, austin Oh, yeah. What's up? What'd I you get for camper. that camper? I got 30K for it. No flipping way. You got 30 out of it? Yep. Oh, dude, that is sick. And I got the backhoe hooked up to the tractor. Oh, even better. Dude, that brings us up to $84,000. We can build that house now. Sweet. Okay, so the reason why I asked you to hook up the backhoe here is we got to dig a couple little trenches for uh, power sewer and water here we already have water on the property so we just got to dig one to the shop but after that we should be good okay did you uh stick the weight on the front no no do we even really need the weight i don't think so all right hey man are you sure you haven't seen my three-wheeler nope i haven't seen it man maybe go check in the uh red shed back there all right <laughs> flipping weight doesn't know how is he not seeing it yet uh, there's nothing in here man Ah, uh, dude, I, don't, I have no idea, man. Maybe someone really did steal it. All right, Jack's down. Let's see if I can figure out how to run this thing. Oh, oh, nope, that's the wrong thing. There we go. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to here. There, yep, all right, and down. All right, I think I'm getting it. All right, so I've been getting these trenches dug here. Everything's looking good. Colton's just heading out with the uh, other mowing setup there. He's going to go mow a couple lawns the last couple of the year. Get in a little extra money. Oh, we still can. And I'm going to continue on this. All right, so it's been a couple hours here. We got some gravel down. I have paid the contractors the $60,000 necessary to get this house built. Anyway, Colton's back. Colton, how much money did you rake in, bud? I made 2,000 bucks. Two grand. Holy smokes. Did you hit a couple other customers on the way back? I might have. Dang, there you go, bud. All right. Well, I think it's time to retire this mowing setup for the year because there is not a whole lot more to do. Nope, there isn't. All right. Well, I guess get her unloaded, get her pressure washed, and she can go in the shed. $2,000 brings us up to 26000 Perfect. Well, boys, it's been about a month here. The house is finished. Colton, what do you think, bud? I like it. Yeah? Well worth the money? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Way better than a camper. Oh, yeah. Way better than a camper. So this is a... Uh, technically, it's a two-story house. It's got a two-bay garage in it. Um, I'm not sure if we can fit the trucks in. We haven't tested that exactly. But it's not completely finished yet. It's pretty dang close. Upstairs is pretty dang nice. This leads back to the bedrooms here. Nothing too fancy, you know? We like to keep it a little bit simple. So between us having to live in a hotel for about a month and then... Um, all the other expenses around the place here it ended up costing us about fifty five hundred dollars and then uh yeah we're down to about twenty thousand dollars now anyways new house can't complain about that we've been working on getting the shop a little more organized and getting the equipment more organized oh where's colton going colton where are you going bud i'm going to put up some stolen posters man i'm trying to find my three-wheeler so you still haven't found it no okay get, get out of the truck right right now get out of the truck right now what hey let's let's take a little walk here Let's take a little walk stand right in front of here right in front of here and look up look up right here 
Really? Yep. <laughs> it's been sitting here for almost two months now and you haven't noticed. Man, what the hell? <laughs> That's your reaction. Come on, man. <laughs> You've been looking, looking for that for forever. Almost two months. And it's been sitting up there. You've walked past it, I, I'd, I'd say, at least 150 times. Minimum. Oh, man, that, that kid's crazy. I can't believe he didn't see it. I thought he was playing along for a little bit, but no. He had no idea it was up there the entire time. Anyways, there is snow in the forecast here, so we're going to be going out and buying some uh, snow removal equipment here ASAP because we're going to be needing it. We still have about $40,000 owned on the property here. We're not sitting too bad financially, but uh, we could definitely use with uh, some extra coin around here. Colton never ended up selling his camper. Not sure what he's what he's doing with that. Maybe he's going to put it into some sort of an ice, ice fishing shack or something else there. Or maybe when he gets tired of living with me, he's, he's just going to move into this or something I don't know well son of a gun would you look at that Colton you know what time it is snow time yes sir it is snowing anyways we're back out here at the compound on the uh landscaping series here and we're not gonna be doing a lot of landscaping today it's gonna be uh, a lot of snow moving anyways Colton what do you think of my uh hat choice for the day you can't be serious with that what, what are you talking about dude it's it's pretty fire, I think. Come on, man. You gotta change that. Put on a toque or something. What are you talking about, man? I am thinking I look pretty dapper in this thing. I think you need glasses. All right, I'll put on a toque then. All right, so we got about uh, $20,000 in the bank account here. We got both trucks in the shed now, or at least the uh, bottom part of our house. They're nice and warm. Isn't this nice? It is very nice. Except uh, she, she's a little tight. Yeah, yeah. We could barely squeeze the dualies in there, but we did get them in. Anyways, we're going to be grabbing both trailers here, and we're going to head out to the store and grab some snow plowing equipment since really we have none. And he just drove off and didn't even close the door. What the heck? Colton, you're letting he escape. That stuff costs money. I kind of figured you had that detail since you're the last one there. Oh, my goodness. So we got to get a plow for the skid steer plow for Colton's truck, and then a plow for the uh, loader truck, which should be interesting. Colton, don't even try to catch up, bro. I'm, I'm still faster. I'm not trying. I'm not trying. Okay, actually. okay. Whatever you say. Anyways, the reason why we're not putting a plow on this truck is because I had a look at the frame, and you know, you can tell by the body it's a little bit rusted. Yeah, the frame's rusted right through. One wrong bump with the plow, and that frame is snapping in half, so we're going to reframe from... Uh, Trying to plow with this thing anyways we've already got a bunch of snow plow contracts and this snow came last minute we weren't expecting it so we're trying to get everything done super early in the morning so we can get back and get to plowing oh Ooh. slow down there bucko Stop. i want to get pulled over today ah yes my favorite place to spend money let's go see how much we can spend today all right so these are two of the plows we're gonna need here they're boss plows this one is a uh snow wolf plow okay this one's for the skid steer and then this one's gonna be for the loader truck now we gotta try to find one for the uh pickup truck colton's pickup truck there we can find a red one maybe it'll match it all right, so this is the truck plow they had out back. Colton, what do you think of this one? This thing's pretty fancy. Yeah, it's a V plow. Now, we're shopping in the used section because we don't have a lot of money. We're, we're not new new equipment kind of money-having people. So, yeah, we got to go used. This actually looks pretty dang nice. I think they usually give these a repaint and put some of the decals or decals, depending on what you call them, back on there. Because usually they get uh, scraped off pretty quick. So I think we're going to try and make a deal with the salesman for all three. We'll see what we can get them for. Well, we made a deal, $18,000, which uh, leaves us pretty much dead broke at $2,500. We're going to need to work a lot if we want to make some money, eh, Colton? Oh, yeah, we need to go push some snow. Anyways, we're going to get these back to the uh, shop there and get them all hooked up, and hopefully we can start plowing. Now, I also did buy two uh, pallets of sandbags there. You guys will see why we did in a little bit. And what the... Colton! Hey, it's slippery, man. Oh, my goodness. Dude, you're going to wreck that truck so fast. Hey, at least it's your don't, truck, but my plow worry, and my I'm trailer right on the back. Out. Don't worry. It crawled right out. Nothing's oh, nothing damaged. Well, we made it back to the yard in one piece, surprisingly enough with how Colton drives. Hey, I'm a professional, man. Yeah, that's that's up for debate there. Okay, so we got to warm the skid steer up here real quick. Get that fired up nice and easy. Didn't even have to toss a battery booster on it. This pickup, get her fired up. Even got the beacons ready to go. So we'll get these uh, plows unloaded here real quick. Didn't take too long. Yeah, this isn't sketchy at all. And down you go. All right, bring her in, Colton. Right, just give me one minute. There you go. And good. Perfect. Look at that. Dude, that is one big plow. Holy smokes. That is ridiculous. Might, might have to test this thing out. Yeah, give her a little test here. 
Let's see. There you go. Look at that. Fancy. Yeah. Dalton. You Dude. didn't see that. You didn't see that. <laughs> what the heck? I cannot trust you to do anything. At least you got him off the trailer, so now I don't have to take him off. But come on, man. Oh, uh, I can't I can't leave you alone for I was here right here and you did it. For anyone watching the video, just uh wondering here, uh yep, I am taking applications for a new employee here. Hey, um hey, hey, mine no. tend to crash into everything and are not to be trusted with a single piece of equipment. I don't know what this guy's talking about. Oh my. I, I can't with you, Colton. I, re I really can't, man. All right, this thing seems to work pretty well, but there's not enough traction on the back. So this is where the sandbags come in. I'm gonna take the two pallets of sandbags. If I can ever grab them out of this rusty old truck. There we go. And we're gonna slap them in the bed here for a little extra weight. Perfect. All right, grab our new skid steer blade here. There, look at that, fancy. Now this thing, is gonna do a lot of work here. This is about the most high-tech piece of equipment we've ever had. Does wonders. And luckily, the heater in this uh, New Holland Skid Steer works absolutely amazing. Because if it didn't, yeah, we wouldn't be having a good time here. Get to toss the snow out the side if we angle it. And Colton piled up all the snow in front of the trailers. Colton, what are you doing, bro? Oh, just wait. You piled up all the snow right in front of the trailers, man. How are we supposed to use them? Okay, so we're getting Colton's rig here all set up. I don't know why I'm giving him all the most expensive equipment because somehow, some way, he's going to find a way to wreck it all. Colton, I swear if you come back and this thing's in pieces. Oh, no. It'll be all in one piece. Yeah, all in one piece. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. All in one piece. Promise. Hey, watch out. You're extra wide now. So, uh, yeah. Don't smack anything. Oh, I won't. All right, so I'm rolling out here with the, uh... The interesting rig. But to be fair, probably the coolest rig of all. All right, this is the place. Colton, you recognize this place, bud? I do. That's right. This is where we uh, cleared out that patch of land for a couple solar panels. Now, this place looks a lot different than it did because the guy's been going to town on putting solar energy, wind en energy, all sorts of crazy stuff down here. And uh, so basically, we're down here to plow out everything because they got to have access to it all. So it shouldn't be too hard of a job. Just going to take a little while, but they are paying us a crap ton of money to do it. So I will gladly take it. All right. So I had to take the sandbags out of the truck there because they were hurting the truck more than they were helping the truck. Anyways, they're out of there now. So we can get back to plowing. Anyways, this road up here does not need to be plowed, so we just kind of do it up to where it starts, and that's about it. Colton, do you want to take one long shot all the way down to the uh, highway there? No, I'm the gonna whole try. driveway? I'm going to try. All right. Oh, hold on. Got to have the beacons on. Priority. Looks like Colton's new V-plow is working wonders for that big road there. How's that thing working, Colton? This thing works great. Perfect. So I got told they wanted a couple little trails plowed out to some of the big big wind turbines like look how tall these things are flipping ridiculous they got a maintenance them so just want a couple little trails plowed out could not be too hard there's one there's number two all right so we are finished this job colton any guesses on how much they actually paid us to do this three thousand mm, twenty five hundred so you're pretty close oh, not bad so that brings us up to about five grand and our next job is right up the road they're down there big shoots our job's right here <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. just rear-ended the crap out of me with that plow. Good thing we got that truck for free. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, you should be able to just take the V-plow and go nuts with this. Oh, yeah, this truck's not liking it. It's too much snow. It is doing it, though. Slowly but surely. Leaving a couple spots behind. Hey, give me a little push here. You're in my way, man. I'm trying to get out of it. And yeah, there we go. All right, so Colton's got the V-plow out there. He's going to handle the front side of the compound. I've got the uh, New Holland Skid Steer here. We're going to go back and handle the back side of the compound. Big old trucking company. These guys tend to pay a lot, too. Look at that automatic gate. Pretty slick. All right, this thing really put in some work now. Look at this. Easy. Could even push it right through the fence, pretty much. Nope, not quite. Now they have a semi-truck parked back here, so I guess we'll just shove some snow in behind it. Here, Colton, I'll put this out here for you to deal with. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Wait, wait a minute. I got some more. I got some more. Oh, come on, man. There you go. Make a nice big pile for you. Just cruising along. Easiest money ever. A lot easier than uh, mowing jobs. Hey, Colton? Way easier. Get to sit in a heated truck all day. Yep. Easy money. 
Colton, you having fun out there yet? Oh yeah, just a great time. Just slipping and sliding around with them uh, stock tires. Yeah, I need to get you some winter ones. I need better tires. See now, Colton, that would be an acceptable use of the company card. The uh, 10 bottles of your special additive to your eggnog. That That's not a company expense, bud. Well, why not? Well, I mean, first of all, it, that, that's an after hours activity. Second of all, that's a lot of eggnog additive. Yeah, I guess so. You know, maybe that's why you keep crashing equipment, huh? Think that might be the cause of it? Uh, no. I sure hope not. Okay, we're just about finished here. Colton, I swear if you plow more snow over my line again. Hey, man, I don't know what to tell you, but keep pushing it. Hey, Colton. Okay, and that is it. Colton's got the trailer. This place is done. See, Colton, look how nicely I loaded that up, bud. I'd say it's pretty good. Be taking notes. Be taking notes. All right, that made us another three grand. Uh, Colton took the loader truck home. It was uh, having some problems staying running, so uh, he's going to try to limp her home, and I'm going to go do some residential jobs. I think we make a little extra corn for the day. I don't think I stopped all the way for that stop sign. So we're just pulling up here to a property you guys might recognize. I sold this property a while back because me and Colton took it, cleaned it up a bunch, and now there's a house on it. Anyways, there's no driveway built because uh, it got a little too cold before they were able to get all the landscaping done. But we've actually been hired for that in the spring before our year is up to finish up this landscaping business. See if it's successful or not. Anyways, they just want a quick little driveway plow. They'll pay us a little bit of money for that. All right, well, quick little $500 there. Can't complain with that. Anyways, we're going to head back, get some food and all that, because we've been snow plowing all morning here. I'm stuck at a red light. This sucks. There we go. I swear I see light coming from in that shop there. What the heck is going on? Colton left the beacons on. Yep, leave it to Colton. So it may be winter, but it does not snow every single day. So that means not every day is a work day. Now, we still need to make a lot of money this year to uh, pay off our $40,000 loan. And if we want any extra equipment, we're really going to have to buckle down. Snow plowing this year is not my only uh, plan for making a little extra cash. I got something coming. It's going to cost me a little bit extra money. But it's on its way here. Should be here in a couple days and uh, should bring us in a lot of money, hopefully. Well, boys, it's another day back out here on the landscaping business, and it is flipping cold. Ain't that right, Colton? Oh, yeah, she's a little chilly. Yeah, we're, we're not very excited to get to work today, but uh, the bank account's not getting any bigger, so we gotta, gotta make that happen. Anyway, uh, Colton, you wanna go fire up the trucks so we can uh, get going here? Gotta let them warm up a bit. Yep. Anyways, we've got 8,500 bucks in the bank account right now, and uh, it's been snowing a little bit, but not enough to the point where we have to go out and plow our contracts. So I've been thinking of other ways to make money. Well, I got a plan. But for that plan to work, we need some more money and uh, the loader truck, it's time for it to go. I have a guy coming to pick it up today, so we're going to get this thing out of here and go on. Now, while the loader truck is cool, I'm going to be honest, it's pretty flipping useless. And here's the guy to come pick it up. Perfect. He's also going to be taking the plow with it, so I guess we lose one less thing for snow plowing, but we need the money. Okay, $8,000. Well, that puts us to where we need to be. All right, Colton, truck's warmed up. Oh, yeah. All right, perfect. You know what we're doing today? No, I actually don't. All right, well, we're gonna head over to the store. I guess we technically don't need both trucks, but yeah, screw it. We're taking both anyway. All right, might as well. What's a little extra diesel fuel, right? Colton, you feeling a little under the weather, bud? You don't sound so good. Yeah, I'm getting that little first winter cold. Oh, that sucks. Well, here we are, my favorite place to spend money. And would you just look at that? Hey, Colton, you know what this is? I actually have no idea. So this is a firewood processor. Basically, you load logs into here. They'll take them, cut them into smaller chunks, and then it pushes huh. them through this, and it cuts them all up into individual little firewood pieces. That's pretty dandy. Oh, yeah. It's it's also pretty expensive. Clocking in around $40,000. God damn. Now, we don't quite have $40,000, so I put a $10,000 down payment on this thing, and uh, we are owing $30,000 on it. So, you gotta take this thing and make some money with it. All right, Colton, I trust your truck a little more than mine, so just uh, back up to it and hook this thing up. Yep, there you go. Perfect. All right, we had to do a little switch. Uh, Colton's draw pitch is way too low for this thing, so I'm gonna hook it up to the taller second gen. To be honest, it's probably better that I tow this thing anyway. We don't want it ending up in a ditch real quick. Just flip and bought it. We don't even have this thing paid for yet. Well, we have made it home in one piece, luckily. All right, now the question is, where are we going to put this? I don't even know the best 
bought. Okay, I think right about here should be good. Okay, so we got the firewood processor all set up here, but we're missing one critical thing to this. Colton, do you know what that is? Wood. Yep. Yep. He's right. We're missing wood. We're going to have to go get some, but before we do that, I think we're going to have to clear out some of this area so we actually have a uh, little bit of space to put the wood. All right, let's see if this old thing will fire up. Oh, yeah. We're good. Colton, you want to warm up the skid steer? We got to get the trailers moved out of the way here real quick. While I'm grabbing these trailers, Colton's going to get the snow plowed out of the way. I guess we could have just hooked these up to the trucks because we're going to need to anyway, but oh well. There we go. A little bit more space in that area. Okay, so I got Colton's truck hooked up to the blade in the trailer here. We're going to need the blade on his truck to actually get into the area with all the logs. And this part's about ready to go. Okay, we're all set to go. Let's roll out. Ah, shoot. I forgot about this. Snowden Road, they don't really plow this road that much, so there's a chance we may get stuck. Except Colton's there with his V-plow, so he might get through no problem. Holy smokes, Colton, you're plowing right up a hill. Oh, yeah. This thing's a beast. Well, I suppose we're doing the county's work now, because uh, Colton's just plowing out everything. <laughs> Holy smokes, jump that snow pile. Yeah, I, I should be getting paid for this from them. <laughs> All right, here we are. So some of you may or may not recognize this place. This is uh, where I got my old camper from. The guy that owns this, uh, he owns that whole solar farm down in the uh, bottom side of the property. But this is the upper side of the property. Now, he plans to build a bunch more solar panels up here. So he said we can clear out as many trees as we want for free, which uh, works out really, really well for us. Now, it's a little more questionable getting in and out of here, but we'll try our best. All right, I think we're going to start right about here. There's a ton ton of big trees more than we're probably ever gonna need colton are you struggling back there bud yeah i am <laughs> you gonna be able to get it oh yeah oh you're just plowing a trail now yeah, perfect holy smokes you're just sending it through there oh man you got her so our plan is to load up these two trailers completely full of logs bring them back to the uh compound there put them into firewood and hopefully sell them at a good price now normally we just take these trees and sell them normally i guess that was kind of a lot of normals in that sentence but uh yeah Right now, it's more profitable to sell firewood. All right, what are you thinking, Colton? This first one right here? She looks big enough. Yeah, I think so. Ember, that was awfully close to my truck. Oh, <laughs> oh man, that was a little too close for comfort. That's a big one. Ooh, she's a little tipsy. Clap it right on the trailer there. Might be a little long. Oh, oh <laughs> shoot, Colton, easy, bud. Hold on, this one's a little long. Let me, uh, let me trim it. Easy, bud. There we go, now we're making some progress. Well, that is one trailer pretty much full i'd say that's about as full as we're gonna get it hey colton i'd say so yeah we could put one more log but yeah we're gonna be heavy as it is and especially coming out of there with all the uh dips and stuff probably don't want to tip one of these over all right load them on well that's trailer about half full here i think uh one more big tree and that should be it oh a little close to the truck oh i really gotta start watching for that too close for comfort all right well that is it both trailers are full to the max i think even a little too full but uh yeah that should be good for now. Colton's just piling up the last of uh, the end bits that we got there. We'll take those in eventually, but for now, they can just sit here. You know, I really didn't think about this, but we're going to need the skid steer back at the house to unload oh, yeah, all of these logs so. and uh, put them in the firewood processor. We got the tractor there. You think the tractor's going to be able to handle those? Well, we can push them off the trailer with it. Yeah, I, I suppose. Well, we'll figure it out. Now, the question is if we can actually get out of here. I'm just going to take it nice and easy through here because this is a lot of flipping weight on this and the brakes aren't good on these. Oh, we were doing a wheelie there. Oh, come on, Dodge. You got it. Colton's <laughs> just absolutely sending it. He don't give a crap. There we go. We're out. Colton, get out of that man's field. Hey, it's winter. <laughs> still though come on man all right it looks like colton's actually plowing a trail back out because he missed some of it before so now we actually have a nice clean trail all right we're back on the road but it is icy so colton slow the heck down bud oh, oh, oh. yeah we're all running a little low on diesel fuel so time to fill up well 450 dollars later we got everything filled up we even filled up uh colton's slip tank there so we can get some diesel in the skid steer but at least we'll be good for a little bit now. Colton's fixing it past me. Oh, no, he's just giving me a push instead. Hey, Colton, you, uh, did you see those signs when you went on that road? What signs? The ones say you're going on the wrong way. Who says who? Oh, my goodness, dude. You're lucky there's no traffic. All right, yeah, kind of just put it back over here, just alongside, and then we'll just push him off with the tractor. Like right about there should be good. Okay, I think we got the tractor the best setup we possibly can. Um, we got the weights on the back, and then we got the grapple on the front. So this should work okay. Oh, it's working. We got her. I think we pretty much got them all off. Minus one or 
two. All right, it's a little bit scuffed, but who cares if it works? All right, you should be able to pull away now, Colton. Okay, well, that worked actually better than I expected. Now, let's see if we can actually pick one of these up. That weighs down the tractor a little bit, but we might actually be okay. All right, that was one truck. Here's the next. Just kind of got to force them off of there. There we go. Almost got it. Can we actually get up onto the trailer like this? Oh, we're close, but not quite. All right, we got it. Perfect. Holy smokes, this thing's actually got a little more lifting power than I thought it would. Oh, oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Gotta be careful with it. All right, so we got the first log loaded in here. We got this thing fired up. It's gotta adjust the conveyor belt a little. There we go. All right, and cut that. Push that through, and we're moving. How's it looking, Colton? It's looking good. Minus a few pieces falling off here and there, but... A little bit of a pile up. I don't know why it's not going. I'm trying to adjust the conveyor belt so it goes. Oh, slowly. We can push it all into one pile. It's not that big of a deal. All right, you want to go grab another log? Yep. There you go. Bring it in. All right, perfect. Working. There, we actually got a nice little pile going. We've already got buyers for all this firewood here, so uh, we're going to have to figure out some way to transport it. Uh, we would use the dump truck, but that doesn't really work because it doesn't have very high sides on it. So we're going to have to figure something else out. We may have to rent a dump trailer temporarily for the winter while we're trying to run this little side business. But this is already a couple hundred bucks worth of firewood. It is crazily priced right now because there's a bit of a lack of it. So by the time we're done all of those logs there, we should have a serious amount of money waiting for us over here all right so i think we're getting close to half the logs cut we got to push this pile just a little bit we can keep piling it up there but everything's going really well so far all right well we got a jam gotta pull the logs out here there we go all right so we're just doing the last log here and i think we've got more than enough at this point what are we uh yeah we're about three quarters through not a whole lot left but we got a pretty good looking pile. All right, so Colton's grabbing the second gen. We're going to move the firewood processor because we kind of have to clean all this up and get this loaded into dump trailers or truck beds. Who's ever buying it? There, we'll just get this all piled up real quick. All right, so we had a guy show up here. Uh, he's going to be taking a truckload of firewood. This is actually my old Duramax. The guy ended up buying. Colton's just going to load him up here with firewood, and I am going to go buy something, even though I probably shouldn't be. Oh, good grief, Colton. There you go. All right, one truckload done. That is 200 bucks right there. So that's just one truckload, but uh, I'd say we have probably about 20 truckloads there, something like that. But this purchase that I'm about to go make is going to make this a lot easier. Well, I'm back at it with dumb purchases. Colton, what do you think, bud? Uh, this thing's actually useful. I know, right? We need this. So it was three grand. Now, for a dump trailer, that's really cheap, but this is all wood siding pretty much other than the actual box itself. So yeah, it's not the greatest, but it will work for hauling firewood. Ah, oh, son of a gun. The tractor's not high enough to reach. All right, we can dump it in the back, so that'll work. Well, we did ourselves a favor and brought the skid steer back here. It's gonna make things a lot easier. We can actually reach over the dump box now. All right, so this is about where we're at. Uh, we had a lot more firewood than we thought because we filled this trailer completely up. So we're gonna take this dump trailer in. That's worth about $5,000. And then we'll be back to uh, cutting down some more trees and getting some more wood so we can make some more firewood. Therefore, making more money and hopefully paying off all our money that we owe. Well, I dropped off that trailer load. That was $4,950. And I'm just getting back to the compound here. Looks like Colton's getting another customer loaded up. So that'll be another $200 right there. Perfect. Here, let me give you a hand with this. Wait, Colton, isn't this the dude who bought our uh, loader truck? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Huh. All right, that should be full enough and 200 bucks right there and we still got a lot of firewood Okay, so we ended up having another three pickup truck loads so That was six hundred dollars that we did and then we put the rest of the firewood in this trailer And uh, it actually filled it up a lot more than I thought it would we pretty much have another full trailer here around four thousand dollars and uh, we're still not even through our first two sets of logs So Colton's gonna go drop this off and I'm gonna clean up a little bit and probably get the uh firewood mill set back up and then it's on to the last of these so we actually ended up doing a lot better than i thought i would with this firewood now we still have pretty much as many trees as we're gonna want going forward we're making more so i think we'll continue to run the uh snow plowing business and uh, we're supposed to actually get snow tonight so that'll be a couple thousand dollars in just snow plowing and then uh hopefully a lot more money in the logging and firewood so we should be able to pay everything off in just about no time here probably even before spring all right colton just got back we got forty one hundred dollars for that load anyways i got the firewood processor set back up here colton is just gonna pull under 
that uh, conveyor belt with this trailer. That way it's a lot easier. We don't actually have to uh, load any of the firewood manually unless we're loading up pickup trucks. Okay, I think we're all set up. What do you think, Colton? Is this going to work a lot better than having to load it all up? Oh, I hope so. Well, boys, it's another day back out here at the landscaping business. It is 8 a.m. bright and early. We got uh, a dump of snow early, early this morning. Colton's out plowing. We pretty much got everything set up for the firewood, so we're ready to go on that once we get done the contracts for the day of the snow plowing. That kind of comes first. Anyway, we got just over 13 grand in the bank account here, and uh, that's sitting a little lower than I'd like, so we're going to get that up today. So while Colton's plowing there, I'm going to go take his truck and toss it on a trailer. I would use my dually, but uh, it's hooked up to the other trailer there, so we're just going to leave that. Okay, so while we're waiting for Colton here, uh, I guess we're just going to get started on some firewood real quick. We probably won't get too much done, but uh, at least a little bit wouldn't be bad. Oh boy, everything's going to be a little slow on the hydraulic end. It is cold out this morning. Let's see if the old John Deere can uh, get one of these logs picked up. I didn't really give it a chance to warm up, but nah, it'll be, a go it'll be okay. Oh, that's heavy. That's really heavy. Holy smokes. We need like a bigger tractor out here or something. Maybe another skid steer. I don't know. But this thing, yeah, doesn't really do the job that well. To be fair, it is a pretty big log. Processor's already jammed. All right, looks like Colton's finished up here. So I'm just going to finish off this log and then I think we'll head out. All right, well, we got the truck flipped around here. Uh, we had a couple logs spill over, but not too bad. I think we'll just uh, keep it on the side loading there. We'll give that a shot later on when we get back. But for now, we got some snow plowing to do. Colton, unlock the door. Uh, no, not a chance. You had breakfast burritos this morning, man. I am not letting you in here. Oh, you got to be kidding. You're pulling this crap on me now? Oh, really? yeah, not a chance. Really? You're ridiculous, man. Colton, that's a red light. Colton, that's a red light. Hey, Colton. Fine. Oh, my goodness, dude. They're going to get my places. plates here. We got places to be. Well, I don't know if it's that important to be there right now. It's still pretty early in the morning. Get oh, Col Colton. Colton, you're passing it. You're passing oh, it. Oh. Colton. Colton. Colton, you're going off the road, bud. That, that's not the side uh, road. I, I can't find the road. <laughs> uh, yeah, to be fair, it is pretty snowed in. Screw the ramps, Colton. I'm not using the ramps. Oh, fine. <laughs> All right, just scoot that trailer off to the side, and I can get plowing out the front, and you can go uh, do the back there. All right, let's give this a shot. You gonna manage over there, Colton? Oh, yeah, we're doing just great. <laughs> Look, Colton, the faster we get this done, the faster you can go and watch your Saturday morning cartoons when we get back. Fine. <laughs> I was actually taking a quick look at what uh, the local dealership had to offer this morning, and uh, looks like they got a snowblower for a skid steer. I wonder if that'd be a smart move. I don't know. What do you think, Colton? Oh, yeah, maybe. Could be. Not too sure. Blade works great and all, but a snowblower would be sick. You know how much random crap we could shred from the office in that? We don't even need a paper shredder anymore. <laughs> all right, well, Colton's finishing up the front there. I'm going to get started on the back here. This shouldn't take too long. Usually this whole job only takes us an hour, 45 minutes tops, something like that. Okay, so the trucking company just sent me a text. Uh, they don't want us to plow out the semi over here. Not sure why, but... They just requested that we didn't, so we're just going to leave it. And same with the other one on the other side. I don't know. They haven't moved since we last plowed this place, so maybe they just don't need to be plowed out. Colton, I could have sworn I told you to wash this skid steer yesterday, and it's still filthy. I don't know, man. I washed it, I swear. I don't know. I'm pretty filthy at the moment. So that other snow plowing contract in the valley there, the guy with all the, st uh, the solar panels and uh, wind turbines and stuff, he said uh, they didn't get a whole lot of snow in there, so... This is kind of our only contract for the day. Perfect. We could try and go do some residential stuff, but uh, I think we're going to be better off if we just go ahead and do some more uh, firewood stuff. We got a lot of customers waiting on some, so it's a lot more profitable. All right, Colton, you just about wrapped up out front there? Just about, yep. All right, well, once you get wrapped up out there, uh, there's a huge, huge pile of snow on the uh, right side of the building. If you just go in that gate there, you can push that up to the other side of the fence. Okay. All right, let's see how far Colton's going to make this here. Give me the beans. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy smokes. Actually worked better than I thought it would. Thing's a beast. Don't get stuck now. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> Holy smokes. One more pass should do it. Oh, 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 Colton, you're running me over. <laughs> look out, look out. <laughs> Don't get stuck now. Dang, so much snow drifted in here. It's ridiculous. Hold up. I'm plowing more into your path here. Oh, this poor skid steer is struggling. Colton, are you stuck? He's just on my phone. Oh. Get off your phone, man. From the job. Get that ramp going any higher, Colton. You're going to go right over the fence. <laughs> oh, I'll jump it. Imagine you're so excited to go build a snow fort in this thing, and then you just tunnel halfway through, and there's just a fence just sitting there. I would probably cry. We've legit built snow mountain over here. This is flipping ridiculous. 
Anyone got a snowcat? We could carve this into a nice little ski slope. All right, that's what I call good enough. That's a pretty solid pile there. Hey, Colton. Oh, yeah, she's a big one. That'll work. All right, go grab the trailer. Let's get the heck out of here. Hey, settle down there. I'm giving you a boost. Oh, man, that ain't working. Pushing me. I'll just crawl, I'll climb right over this. That's what I'm going to go do. Uh, I can't do that. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Saved it. <laughs> Slow down. You're still really going to make me ride in the back. Uh-huh. You're ridiculous, Colton. You know that. And burritos are ridiculous. That's what. Don't worry. Next time you have your breakfast burritos, you know, I'll be nah. sure to stick you in the back. I don't know. Well, at least you finally hit a green light. Two green lights. Two green Three. lights. Three. Four. Four green lights. Holy smokes. How fast are you going? Uh, 250. Two, 250? The speed limit isn't even a quarter of that. The speed limit's like 65. Oh, whoa. We blew past the driveway a little Holy bit. Holy smokes, man. Pedal down. All right, so from that one job there, we made $2,000, which brings us up to 15000 but uh, we still got a lot more wood to go through here, so we should have a good amount of firewood by the end of today. That's the hope anyway. After we run out of these logs, we're going to have to go grab some more from that property there. All right, Colton, bring me a log. Now I'm coming. All right, let's make some money. Hey, Colton, you might want to go move that trailer once you get a chance. Oh, she's getting a little full. Yep. All right, you might want to go move it right now. <laughs> like, like right now, Colton. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna move it. I'm just gonna move it. Uh, I'm kind of busy. Oh crap. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Whew. That's close. Gotta smooth out the top of this here. Getting a little full. A little more, Colton. A little more. A little more. A little more. That's good. That's good. Colton. Colton, move the truck. I'll just, I'll just uh, go move it. I'll just go move it. Oh man, we got a couple pieces going over the side, but we should be good. Nearly full here, and that is one full trailer right there. Okay, we got a couple small pieces we can toss in here, but uh, as soon as me and Colton are done filling this up here, getting the last little bits, he's going to run it to the customer there, and that'll be $5,000 because that's a full trailer load right there. That's right up to the brim. And we only have how many more logs? Three here, one right there, so that's four more logs. I don't think we'll get another full trailer load, but we'll be pretty dang close. So by that time, we should be at about uh, 20, 25000 $25,000. And then we'll have to go get some more wood there. But for now, this is not too bad. We've actually been making some progress. Okay, well, there goes Colton here. Um, I kind of just have to wait around until he gets back so we can uh, fill up another trailer. Oh, there's Colton's three-wheeler still up there. He never got it down. <laughs> I wonder if the old first gen will crank over. It's been a while since I've started this thing. Yeah, it doesn't really want to fire up. Oh, hold on. I'm getting a call from Colton. Hello. Uh, hello. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, I was just trying to start the first gen, but it wouldn't start up. Uh, we got a little bit of a problem. What's up? Uh, you know how she's uh, a little icy out? Yeah, you slid into the ditch, didn't you? Yeah. Is it bad? No. All right. Let me hop in your truck, and uh, I'll come get you. All right. Wait, I didn't even ask him how far he was down the road or if he even took the main road. I'm assuming he took the side road. Uh, no, never mind. He would have went down the main road. Where the heck Wait, even is he? I don't even see him up here. Oh, oh, shoot. There he is. <laughs> oh, that does... That does not look good. Holy smokes. Colton, that's a little, that's a little uh, more than just a slide in. Holy smokes. Uh, uh, she's nothing's wrecked. She's all good. Oh, man. Well, at least you couldn't make the second gen any worse. Yeah, true. You can't back out of that, hey? Uh, I don't know. I didn't try. Let me give her a shot. Nope. We're just spinning here. Nada. This thing's almost in the water, man. Holy smokes. You got lucky. Oh, yeah. Um, dude, I don't even know what we can get you out with because I don't think... Uh, hook a rope up. I guess. Yeah, we can try to hook a tow rope up. I don't even know which way to pull you out, though. Just from the trailer, Backwards. I guess? Yeah. We'll just pull you back. All right. Well, hopefully I don't get your truck stuck. I think this thing has a lot better tires than the second gen, so we should be good. Okay, Colton. Tow rope's hooked up. Let's go. Okay. Ready? <clears throat> yep. All right. Give her. All right. Almost there. Almost there. Keep her going. All right, we're repositioned here. Give this another shot. Ready? Nope. Keep her coming. Keep her coming. Keep her coming. Keep her coming. Yep. 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 And good. Jeez, Stop. Stop. Okay, we got the truck repositioned here. And since this one apparently has an issue with uh, pulling trailers, we're going to switch it over to Colton's truck. That should work a little bit better. All right. Back her up. Keep her coming. Keep her coming. Keep her coming. A little more. A little more. Yeah, good. All right. Well, he's back on the road here, so I'm going to head back. Lucky we got him out of there. Second gen seems to be okay, though. They got a big dent in the side. Ain't getting any prettier, that's for sure. All right, another $5,000. That brings us up to $20,000, and Colton's just pulling back in the yard here. Yeah, just bring her on around the side, and we'll just load this up again. Colton, the log needs a shove. It's stuck. Yeah, give me one second. I don't know if we're actually going to get another trailer load out of this. I thought we might, but 
I guess not. There you go. Give her a little tap. Yep. There. Perfect. Dalton, you didn't let me know the trailer was Whoa. getting full. Got to run over here again. The last log. The last one already? Last one. We got to jam in there, Colton. You want to try to get that out? Yep. All right. That's all said and done there. I think uh, we got, oh, what? I don't know, 1500 bucks worth of firewood in there. That's about it. I thought we'd have a lot more, but I guess not. Oh, well. It'll still work. But we may just wait to sell this until we get more logs, and then we can just uh, keep filling up trailers. Because that's just money in the bank. Well, money going back to the bank. We we currently have almost none. All right, Colton, I got the booster cables hooked up. Guys, right, turn her over. I'll okay. get... Oh, easy. Oh, look, look at that. that. All right, so since we don't want to... Uh... Oh, Colton, you just smacked my $40,000 firewood machine. You didn't see that. Oh, my goodness. Anyways, uh, since we don't want to destroy Colton's nice truck, uh, we're just going to use the first gen here to uh, tow the other trailer. Should make things a little bit easier. All right, I'd say we're all set up to go get firewood here, but it's getting pretty close to the end of the day here, so this is probably going to be a tomorrow project. <laughs> Well, y'all, it's another day back out here at the landscaping business. It is actually starting to warm up for once. Where's Colton at? I don't know. Anyways, starting to warm up here, so the snow is going to start melting, but uh, we got to go out and get some more logs this morning so we can uh, continue on the firewood processing. But winter's slowly starting to come to an end. This is good. I'm excited for more warmer weather. Where the heck is Colton, though? Oh, there, there he is. <laughs> He's running the three-wheeler this morning. Colton, what are you doing, bro? I'm adventuring. Adventuring? How's that thing handling yeah. the snow? Oh, this thing's great. All right. Well, we got to get some work done, so put her away. All right. Finally got a chance to use the first-gen Cummins. Haven't used this one in a while. Hey, Colton, don't go off the road with uh, that truck like you did the other day. I'll try not to. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I'm going to say it. It's probably the warmest day we've had in, like, I don't know, a couple months, hey, Colton? Yeah, it's nice out. Yeah. Oh, Colton, we don't have the plow truck today. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Now, the, the trail's still fairly clear. Okay, we're not looking too bad. Colton, I'm spinning out. I'm spinning out, Colton. Come on, you got all the weight. I got no weight. Oh, man. Yep. Okay, I might need a tow. My trailer kind of slid off the side there. Oh, oh, right. I might be able to get it. Nope, nope, I think I'm stuck. Hold on, I'm okay, going to try back up and enter forward through here. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, I don't think I'm getting out of this. I can try, but I'm just too hung up. I'm scared if I back up anymore, I'm going to go off the edge here. That's that's a pretty steep edge. All right, yeah, bring it on in here. There you go. All right, keep her going, keep her going, keep going. And that's good. All right, we made her out. Looks like I'm the one that decided to go off the road today, not Colton. Colton, don't cut through the man's field. Hey, it's not the field. It's the side of the ditch. <laughs> You're going to hit a power pole. <laughs> you did. You hit a power pole. I Called you it. didn't see that. Called it. Called it. You're going to take out power for the whole town, man, if you're not careful. Hey, we got solar power. We're good. Move it, Colton. I'm going to give you a little push. Well, Colton's beating me out there. He seems to be able to go a lot faster with no weight on his trailer. All right. Well, we made it. Let's see if we can actually... Oh, man, that's a steep drop. Okay, I don't think I went the right way there. But hopefully we can actually make it in here. All this snow sure as heck ain't helping. Colton, I'm going to be honest here. I don't think we're going to be able to get out of here with a full load of logs. We'll make it. I got a neighbor just up the road with a snowcat. He might come out. You get him to plow a little trail going out here. I might just give him a call, see what he's up to. Should have brought a plow out here. This is actually a lot deeper than last time. Okay, is this going anywhere near a truck? I don't think so. We should be okay. Timber! And it went near a truck. What the heck? All right, Colton, watch out. I'm about to take down a monster tree here. Timber. Oh, holy smokes. Whoa. Whoa. What was that? I don't know what happened there. All right, Colton, try to pick up this tree now. All right. There you go. You got her. Ooh, oh, maybe on. you don't got her. Hold on. Let me give this thing a cut. I oh, know you should be able to drag it out or not. Hold on. Hold on. There you go. Easy, Colton. Oh. Gonna destroy our one and only skid steer. There you go. You managed her. Don't you think you're biting off a little more than you can chew there, bud? Oh, well, we'll see. We'll see. Just keep it nice and low to the ground. You should be okay. Here, here let me show you how, how you're supposed to do it here. I uh, just wait, wait, wait. All right, Colton. Yeah, this thing's going to need a chop. All right, we got another big one. Let's we'll see if this one will go over without a hitch. No, not too bad. Okay, we should have a good amount here to start loading this trailer up. All right, Colton, what do you say? I think that's pretty full. I say it's pretty good. All right, on to the next one. You know, Colton, I think we might have overdone it on this load. Nah. Oh, man. These trailers are really flipping full. Well, I guess uh, let's try to get the heck out of here. All right, let's hope the old first gen can uh, get us out of here. There's a lot of weight back here. Especially since these aren't goosenecks, this is a lot of tongue weight. We'll come back for that skid steer in a little bit, but we should be good with the small tractor at the uh, yard there to get some of this done. Oh, 
You gotta be kidding me. Did Colton flip? Oh, no. Hold up. I'm gonna try rip up there. Let's hope I don't flip either. Colton, you good? Yeah, I'm good. Oh, man. Yeah, she, she was a little more top heavy than I thought. Oh, dude, that sucks. Dude. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty strong grade there. I, don't, I see why you tipped. Holy smokes. I'm surprised the straps are holding. These are some strong straps. Um, I don't even know how to get you over, to be honest. <laughs> Me either. Shoot. This kind of puts a damper on things because there's a fence. Oh, no, we got a good ways to the fence. This is just a lot of bush here. Ah, uh, crap. I don't even know what to do. Dude, at least it was the second gen. That yeah, thing's no already kidding. beat up enough. Crap. Well, we had to call in the big guns. I called over my neighbor with his snow cat, and uh, he should be able to get us flipped over. He's got a winch on the back, so let's hope. There we go. This ought to do it. At least Colton's okay. That's what's more important. Okay, we got the snow cat on pretty level ground here. Colton, how you feeling, bud? You think this is going to work? Oh, oh, yeah, it should work good. All right. Well, at least you're okay out of this whole ordeal here, but uh, we should be able to get this over. We'll try our best all right he's gonna start winching oh it's just pulling the thing back oh 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 it's coming over it's coming over it's coming over there it goes holy smokes yeah you can see how that pretty much tipped right over it's leaning on its own i think he's gonna try pull it on more level ground there we go that's sitting a lot better than before okay well let's hope this doesn't tip i'm gonna detach the winch here dang almost no damage to the second gen couple little dents there but the fender isn't even broken i guess that wheel does stick out pretty good past the fender so i think we're good colton try to start her up she started all right perfect just careful be very careful i knew we overloaded these trailers too much oh okay that was close all right colton's out well oh he might be stuck again colton why'd you try to go up that way oh no right back up there you go that's the way you're supposed to go good thing i got neighbors with cool cool toys to help me uh hip over log trailers all right i'm staying on the top here hopefully i should be good all right Perfect. We made her. Let's just try to scoot around this corner, up the way you're actually supposed to go, and we're out. <clears throat> okay, let's hope we can actually make it home in one piece now. Colton, you're not going to pass me. You're not going to pass me. I don't think I can. <laughs> you got a little too much weight on that truck. Colton's just rolling coal back there trying to get through all the snow drifts. Keep her pinned, Colton. He'll make it through. Well, it looks like I absolutely smoked Colton in the race back here. Uh, I think he's still just getting down the hill there. He should be getting on the highway soon. But we're going to get to unloading some logs here. Now, we've absolutely loaded these trailers to the max this time. I'm not too sure if that little old John Deere is going to be able to push these off. We'll give it a try, though. Well, Colton made her back in one piece here. Oh, oh, the old tractor's doing it. I didn't think it would. Holy smokes, this thing's got a little more power than I thought. All right, Colton, you want to move that truck and we'll uh, unload the next one? Yep. Hold up, Colton, hold up. Let me move my stack and try to push it up here real quick. I don't know if it's going to. Oh, we're moving. Dang, this thing always surprises me with how much power it has. All right, bring it in. Oh, crap. We got logs falling off here. Hold on. Okay, this tractor might have finally met its match. I don't know if we're getting this all off of here. All right, Colton, you may just have to unfold the ramps and try pull forward. All right. All right, yep. Yep, there you go. Per that actually worked a lot better than I thought it would. Well, we got a pretty dang good stack of logs there now. I think this ought to keep us occupied for a couple days now. Okay, so Colton has to uh, service the firewood processor here real quick. Uh, we've ran through a couple sets of logs now, so probably time for quick service. I'm going to go pick up the skid steer, but I have a, a different idea. We're not going to take the trailer because that's going to weigh us down a crap ton. We're just going to take the dump truck. I got an idea. Okay, I made it out here. Let's see if this is going to work. You know what? If it works, don't question it. Let's get this thing back to the house. Well, we made it back here in one piece. Skid steer is good. I think the Dodge is good. I'm not too sure. Wait, why are those two logs there? Colton? Yeah. Why are these two logs here? Uh, that's a good question. I didn't put them here. I don't remember putting them there. But did we just have two logs randomly appear? I'm not too sure. I don't know. Huh. All right. Well, is the uh, firewood processor all serviced? Good to go? Yep. Perfect. Let's get rolling. Good grief, Colton. We got to wash your truck. This thing's filthy. She's a little dirty. Just a little. All right. You want to hop in the skid steer and we'll get going? Yep. All right. Well, I want to say this trailer is pretty much full yeah it's about as full as we're gonna get it well we already got a customer ready and waiting for this one so colton's gonna go run this over there so that's another five thousand dollars and we're just about getting close to having this firewood processor paid off or at least have the money to get it paid off colton did you just smack the second gen no i swear i see you smack the second gen i don't know what you're talking about all right get that load of firewood delivered 
Anyways, even though the trailer's gone, we're going to continue cutting a little bit more because we are supposed to have some trucks come today and they're going to take a couple loads of firewood quick. So that should be some extra money. We'll just pile a couple logs on the ground there and we should be good. Well, Colton's not here to bring me logs, so I got to go get him myself. Tough life being a boss. All right, just ran another log through. This should be enough. I think we got three trucks coming. So yeah, that should be enough for three of them. Let's try to clean up underneath the firewood processor here, and we'll just push this off to the side. That way, Colton, once he gets back here, can just pull right in. There we go. Just get this pushed out of the way quick. Perfect. That should be plenty enough for now. Well, Colton just made it back. That was 4950 bucks. and our first truck or a pickup load of this stuff should be showing up here any minute now. Ain't no way this man pulling up with a Chevy Avalanche. All right, yeah, just, just back in right here. Get you loaded up. All three feet of box. He said he wanted some of it inside. This whole back folds down? Yeah, okay. Load her up. Well, since he's got a smaller box, we really had to load that up to make it worth his money. Holy smokes. That's that's funny. Some of the customers. Some of the customers. Oh, man. Well, that's 200 bucks. All right, so we're back to processing firewood here. We had another two trucks show up. So that's another $400 in the bank. But uh, Colton's got to give the log a push here because it's stuck. Give her a little nudge there, Colton. There we go. That was like a pro move right there. Professional. Colton, you're supposed to let me know when the dang trailer's getting full. Holy smokes, man. Oh, geez. Out an overflow. Holy smokes, we got pieces of wood falling out everywhere. This trailer's right full but every full trailer is a lot of money so can't complain with that well somebody didn't park a trailer right and that somebody was probably me so i gotta move this thing now i'm just gonna back in both trailers here that way it's easier to get around up front and we got more room well it looks like colton dropped off the wood there and we got another 50 we got 5200 bucks from that load holy smokes that brings us up to the old 30,000. Oh boy, this isn't sketchy at all. It works though. Well, it looks like we're ready to go here for another load, but I gotta do something here real quick. And we are absolutely dead broke. Um, I paid off the last of what was owed on the firewood processor here. It was $40,000. We put a $10,000 down payment and I just paid the rest of the 30,000. Holy smokes. Colton, we're, we're officially out of money, man. We're, we're down to our last 850. Yeah, we're broke. Anyways, it's coming towards the end of the day here, and uh, we were up at the crack dawn, so I think we're going to call her day. Well, boys, it's another day back out here at the landscaping business. It's early in the morning, and uh, the snow is gone. Anyways, we got 850 bucks in the bank account, and Colton. Yeah. What are you, what are you doing, bro? What do you mean? What, what, what does it look like I'm doing? The snow just left. Yeah, man, we gotta get this grass cut. You trying to get an early, early start, or what's going on here? Look at this stuff's long. Ah, oh, dude, put 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 the mower back. Put the mower back. We got other stuff ah. to do. Anyways, since our year-long quest to build the successful landscaping business is just about up, we're gonna be trying to make the most amount of money we can in the shortest amount of time. Anyways, we've got a few of these logs left, so we're gonna get these taken care of, put into some firewood. Now, since it is a bit warmer now, uh, there is a bit less of a demand for firewood. It's still going for a pretty good price, but uh, a little bit less than it was. Anyways, we're going to get to processing what's left. Well, Colton, since it's warm again, are you going to move back into your little camper there? Uh, I might. We'll see. Oh, yeah? I finally get the house to myself for once? Yeah, uh, maybe. All right. Yep, that's looking pretty full there. Toss in a couple of the spillover pieces. Okay, so this trailer's full here, but uh, we're actually going to unhook this because we need to take the plow off Colton's truck. You don't need that on there no more, and uh, probably not the best thing to drive around with. All right, Colton. Take her away. Hey, no speeding tickets now. We're still broke. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I just had a guy pull up here. He's here to buy my uh, snow plows here. He's taking the one off Colton's truck and then the one that we used on the skid steer. Now, normally this would be a horrible time to uh, sell snow plows, but uh, this guy wants them for next season. And since they're kind of barely used, other than this one, I guess we bought this one used. We're giving them a really good deal to come buy them, so it works out great for both people involved. Okay, I think the pallet forks are the best way to get the snow plow on the truck. We're gonna try. All right, I got it. Let's just not let it slip off the forks now. Perfect. Click strap these down, grab some money from them, and he should be on his way. Okay, done deal. $8,000 in the bank for that. And look at that. Now we're not broke. Finally. Feels good. And Colton just texted me. He's on his way back. First gen's looking a bit dirty. May as well give this a quick wash. Oh, look who it is. I told him those speeding tickets. He better not have got one. He made that trip awful fast. How much we make? We made four grand. Ooh, nice. Yep. Not a bad load. 
All right, so four grand that brings us up to twelve thousand dollars. I sold the uh, snow blades while you were gone. Oh, sweet. Yeah. How many speeding tickets this time? You made that trip awful quick. Zero. Well, that's good. That's good. Well, let's load this trailer up again and uh, get some more money. Dalton, Dalton, we got a clog. I'm trying to move the conveyor to get it out, but oh, there we go. Clearing itself up. Son of a gun, we got one more log left and the trailer's like right topped up. We can't fit another log in there. We already got stuff spilling out the sides there. Dalton, is that is that the best way to go? Probably not. <laughs> Cutting through the ditch. So we got one more log left, but never fear. I have a plan. That's right. Truck bed. Can't get already more uh, beaten up than it is, I guess. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. Oh, Colton just sold the logs. 4650. Holy smokes. I'll take that. All right, I'm trying to fit it all on here. I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, no. Oh, no. We got logs spilling. We'll just try to stack the last couple pieces up on here. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> that looks so dumb. Hey, if you got straps, it works. Anyways, we're going to go deliver this. I got a customer that wants a truckload. Oh, and Colton's back. But that'll be another 200 bucks for us. All right, I'm just pulling back up here. $200 in the banks. So that brings us up to 17,700. Not too dang bad. And Colton, oh, there was three pieces of firewood left, of course. Anyway, Colton's got the firewood processor hooked up and all folded away. And the reason for that is because it's getting sold. It was fun doing firewood over the winter, but I have a buyer for this. And it's getting sold for about $20,000 more than we bought it for because you cannot get these things right now. I have a guy that really wants it. You can't get them. They're back ordered like a year and a half. So Colton's going to go deliver it. And we're going to get about $60,000 in the bank. Anyways, in the meantime, I don't think we've washed this skid steer the entire winter and it is absolutely filthy. So it's about time to give this thing a bath. Look at that brand new skid steer. Well, looks brand new at least. I'm doing a bit of spring cleaning right now or equipment shuffle, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, I've got this John Deere backhoe for this thing. It's literally pretty much useless to me. If I'm uh, gonna use a backhoe, I'll just uh, rent something bigger or uh, I don't know figure something different out i think i have a guy coming to buy this it's actually next to the tractor it's one of the most valuable pieces of equipment surprisingly enough but yeah we just don't use it enough to warrant keeping it holy smokes colton finally washing off your truck and she's nice and clean though yeah look at that that paint's actually red underneath there okay and we just got the sixty thousand dollars from the sale of that wood processor there so that brings us up to over 77 grand holy smokes now we can't forget that uh, I still have about $40,000 owing on a bank loan, so we got to pay that off before we go too crazy with spending money. Check it out, Colton. I got the ultimate camping setup going for you here. Oh, heck yeah. That, that's doable. Oh, yeah. No, this thing looks great. I mean, the camper may be bigger than the truck, but... Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's settle down small, here. Small, small details, small details. <laughs> I ought to dump this eyesore into the lake, but we're just going to stick it back here for now. Well, we had the dude show up to buy the backhoe here, so we're going to get this loaded into his truck for him. And that's going to be 4500 bucks for us. Literally, I think we've used this thing once, and that was only because we were building a flipping house. Okay, 4500 bucks in the bank. There he goes. Hey, Colton, it's a sad day. You selling it? Yep, this setup is getting sold. Oh, well, more money, I guess. Yeah, I suppose. I'm, I'm really going to miss the mini truck, man. This thing was sick. This thing was fun. Oh, you want to get the uh, the push mower off from the top shelf there? That goes with it, too. Oh, yeah. All right, strap this down. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Yep, this thing's getting sold, but do not worry. We got something a lot bigger and better coming our way very soon. Colton, any guesses on uh, what I got for this whole setup? Uh, I want to say 20. 20? 20 grand? Holy smokes. I wish. No, no, 10 grand. 10? Yeah, 10. It's only a little off. Only about by half. <laughs> yeah, I think I still think we're making money on that, hey? I think so. Yeah, I don't know. I can't even remember how much we uh, bought this maybe. thing for. 3500 bucks? Something like that? Anyways, you want to take it for the last drive to uh, go meet the owner, the new owner of it? Yeah, uh, might as well. All right, I'll follow you. Hey, take it easy. That thing, that thing's sold now. Exactly, it's not mine. Oh, <laughs> don't drive it like a rental. Well, we sold it in the same place we bought it. $10,000 in the bank. Well, Colton, what do you say we uh, go into Applebee's to celebrate? Agreed. All right. Hey, uh, nice park job there, eh? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, sure, sure. All right, so me and Colton are just pulling up to this place here with something we want to look at, and the gate's locked. Can I just open it? Oh, it wasn't locked. Okay. Look at that. Well, Colton, what do you think? This thing looks pretty fancy. Yeah, it's a Cat 289D. Slightly used, uh, not 
too crazy on the hours, I don't think. It's a two-speed. No, no, I've been playing around with the idea of getting a cat over the New Holland. I'm not too sure yet. Anyways, the guy said the key's in it, so I'm just going to take it for a quick little spin here. Check it out. And everything seems good. Yeah, this ain't too bad. Doesn't handle much different than the New Holland, but uh, it's a little bit nicer on the interior than the old one is, I suppose. I don't know. What are we thinking? Is it even worth going into a different skid steer? Uh, I don't know. Well, maybe we'll have to think about it, but uh, for now, we got to get back to the uh, house there. We got a lot of stuff to do. Well, it's another day back out here at the landscaping business. Spring has sprung. Trees are starting to get their leaves back. It's, uh, it's a good day. We got $92,000 in the bank account, which is, I think, is the, one of the best we've been ever sitting as far as money goes. Anyway, Colton's just been in the shop here getting stuff ready to go for the day. And the job we're actually going to go do today, we've had planned out since last summer. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get to work. All right, Colton, I'm going to need you to take the skid steer, get the disc off of the top of the shelf there, the seed spreader, and a, and possibly the mower as well. See if I can manage. Anyways, I'm going to grab the first gen here, and we're going to go grab a trailer. All right, perfect. Colton got the uh, stuff we needed out of here. Hey, Colton, you want to go grab the uh, log forks for that thing? And I'm going to grab the bucket. So the plan for today is we're going to be heading out to a customer just, I don't know, 10 minutes away from us, right close to us. And we're going to be redoing their lawn, basically ripping it all up, spreading some new seed down, adding some gravel in, a little fire pit area, all sorts of good stuff. So it's going to be a busy day. Ooh, are we going to be able to fit both things on there? What do you think, Colton? I think so. Ooh, I don't think so. Oh, you know what? The uh, ramps will uh, go in between the little disc there, so we should be good. All right, we got everything loaded up here. We're just going to head out. Colton's going to go grab the lawn seed that we need, which luckily is getting paid for by the customer because uh, that stuff's expensive. So we're good to go there. Colton, don't you try to pass me, buddy. Go faster. Dude, I can only go so fast. I'm towing a massive trailer here. All right, and this is the spot. We'll just pull off to the side here. Luckily, there's a nice big open spot for us to unload and do whatever we need to do because that yard is not terribly big. Now, we kind of knew that going into this, so while Colton's picking up seed, he's also going to pick up something else for us that we're going to need to uh, actually get this lawn cleaned up. Now, since it's kind of a tighter space here, we're going to basically put disc on the front of this. Complicated, I know, but we'll, we'll get it all figured out in a minute. Okay, so start here, we're going to give this lawn a quick cut just to get rid of any unnecessary crap we don't need to deal with going into this. And you can even see me trying to mow here. Uh, there is some serious issues with uh, maneuverability. So this thing that we need to get the disc on the front should help out crap ton. Oh, Colton's back. All right, Colton, you want to get that stuff unloaded? Yep. And you can even see this lawn is just in flipping shambles as well. Ah, yes, my arch rivals are back to haunt me yet again. All right, perfect. Lawn's mowed. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. This is going to go on the front, and then this is going to go on the front of that. Little bit weird, but hear me out. With how this lawn's set up, we got to get in some really, really tight corners, and this is literally the best way to do it. Check this out. Right up against the house. Absolutely perfect. So while I'm doing this, I got Colton taking the first gen to go get a quick load of gravel. Explain why we need that in a little bit. But we also have to take down these three trees here. So once he gets back, he's going to start working on that. So I'm just getting finished up with this side. Colton's back with the uh, gravel there, and I think he's going to get to work on cutting down those trees. Oh. There goes one. Hey, Colton, make sure those trees don't hit the house, eh? Oh, yeah. All right, just limit some trees here real quick. Uh-oh, Colton and the skid steer. Everybody run and hide. There you go. Be nice and easy to grab now. Perfect. Well, it looks like Colton's got the last tree there. He's going to run those to the sawmill while I finish this up. A couple extra bucks from the sawmill never hurt anybody, I guess. Colton left his Cummins on the side of the road running while he went and took those trees in. What the heck, man? Well, I had to move Colton's second gen out of the road because he left it running and just sitting there and... Left the skid steer running too. What the heck, man? Anyways, we're just about finished uh, getting this all ripped up. Oh, Colton's whipping back in there. Holy smokes. Got about 700 bucks for the wood. Perfect. All right. Well, uh, get those seed bags ready and we'll get uh, spreading it here pretty quick. I'm just finishing up the last little bits of this lawn. All right. And we are finished. Perfect. This is going pretty dang good. Okay. So 
Took us a little while, but we got the uh, seed mix all filled up here, ready to go. This should honestly take like two passes because this thing spreads a massive feel of it. Flip it on here and off we go. We'll give it a couple passes just to make sure it's nice and coated. All right, I got to shut it off back in here real quick. Perfect. And on it goes again. Unfortunately for me, they didn't want their whole backyard done, so that would have really added on some price. But uh, yeah, we're just doing the front yard is what it is, though. We'll just get a couple more passes on there and it'll be ready. Well, that is it. That is all. Uh, Colton, you want to back that uh, first gen up in there and look at that gravel dumped? Yep. There you go. That should be good. Hey, you can just dump it in a big kind of pile right there. I'll do it. All right. So we just got to spread this out a little bit. I guess we should have brought the bucket for the skid steer, but oh well. Colton, you better be grabbing a shovel, man. I'm grabbing one. All right. How's this looking, bud? I'm actually getting level now. Perfect. All right. Well, I think that's about going to do it for this. Just really got to wait for the lawn to grow back now. All right, Colton, I'm going to load this thing into the Dodge. You go return it so we don't got to pay crap for it. <laughs> I'll try to. What do you mean? I didn't even use it once. Well, Colton, you get it returned? Oh, yeah. Perfect. All right. What's your guesses on uh, what we made on this job? Uh, three or four grand. Ew, a lot more than that. More? Yeah, we came in. Okay, put it this way. We came in cheaper than everybody else's quote to them. 10. Yep, we made 10 G's off of this job. That's not bad at all. No, sir, but uh, I guess let's get back to the house. All right, $10,000 from that job. Colton's just getting all the equipment put away and uh, cleaned up. That brings us up to 100 Almost $103,000. I can't remember the last time we had that much money sitting in our bank account here. I'm pretty dang happy with that. But yeah, even with that $10,000 quote, we still came in cheaper than everybody else. Everybody to do that is charging like twelve dollars to $15,000, which I don't know how they're charging that and getting away with it. That is even ridiculous. Even I thought a $10,000 quote was ridiculous, but apparently that's not a bad deal. Well, I finally let Colton mow the lawn. He's just having a blast over there, aren't you, Colton? Oh, yeah. Anyways, I got all the equipment out here, getting it all washed up. Uh, reason for that, I have a guy coming to buy us. The entire lot. I wasn't necessarily planning to sell this, but I, I, I put it up on Marketplace, and I honestly got an offer I couldn't refuse. So we're selling all this. Now, I know for a landscaping business, at this point, we're really gonna have nothing left after I sell this stuff. But trust me, I've got a plan. Well, here he is. We'll get this stuff loaded up, and he should be on his way. All right, yeah, bring him up here. The last piece. Yeah, set it on down. All right, it, 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 oh, oh, is it going to come off the forks? Oh, it will. Oh, there we go. There we go. I'm just going to turn it sideways. Yo, Colton. Yeah. Hey, so that dude's just strapping stuff down right now. Uh, He offered me six grand for the second gen. Sell it. Sell it? Sell it. You really think so? Uh, look at the body on this thing. Look at the rust. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, oh, shoot, that dude, that's like... Oh, the, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit offended. He, he said he wanted it as a firewood truck. As a fire? Okay. Whoa. Settle down. She's still a good work truck. I know. I know. But six grand, that's uh, that's pretty dang good. Sell it. One last thing for us to deal with. Oh, you don't even know my plan yet. Dang, that's six extra grand. Uh, screw it. We're going to do it. Might as well. All right. We couldn't get it on with the uh, ramps down, so got to kind of load it on like this. It's a little bit sketchy. There you go. There you go. Perfect. Like butter. Dang, dude. I can't believe I'm selling this. Well, that about does it. 21 grand. Everything's gone. We, we are literally down to just about nothing. So with all that sold, that brings us to $123,810. That's a lot of flipping money. However, we have pretty much nothing left. I think Colton's in the house there. We're going to go do some equipment shopping. Well, we got no more equipment. It's probably time we go uh, at least look at some. Before I could even flip and get out of the truck, Colton already <laughs> went and hopped on this thing. What do you think of it, bud? This thing is comfy. Yeah? Oh, yeah. I, I think this will be a good mower. Oh, I don't know. This is the 72-inch deck, I think? Uh, I'm not too sure. Or Z994R. Dang. I think this is the exact same one, just a smaller deck, but I, th I think we need the bigger deck, hey? Oh, uh, yeah, maybe. Might help on some of the bigger jobs. Holy smokes, the price tag on this thing, man. Yeesh. Well, I mean, we got the cash. True. Well, let me go uh, talk to the John Deere rep, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Okay, Colton's on a test drive. Don't crash it now. What do you think? Pretty smooth. Yeah? You think it'll do the job? I think so. Well, me and Colton made it back from the dealership here. We're back at the house. I think we've made a decision, but we're going to sleep on it. We literally have no more equipment left. We, we got nothing. Colton's three-wheeler 
is about the most reliable piece of equipment in here. And we're down to two trucks. We, we got nothing left. We're not even a landscaping business at this point. But we have lawn scheduled for next week here, so we better make a decision and make it quick. Well, boys, it's another day back out here at the landscaping company. It is a sad, sad day because I have $123,000. No, no, that's not why it's sad. That's actually very good. It's a sad day because the first gen is leaving the shop. Yep, got a guy on his way right now. Uh, he should be getting here any second now. So we're going to fire this one up for the last time and drive it on out of here. And here's the guy. Colton's still in bed. I got to get him up because we're going to go do some serious buying today. All right, on the trailer it goes. I'm actually a little bit sad to see this thing leave. I love this truck, but we really don't need it because, uh, well, we have a dump trailer, so not much use for it now. And there we go, $15,000. Man, what a shame. Hey, what did I miss? You missed selling the first gen, man. Sleeping in. I need my beauty rest. Oh, my goodness. Well, I hope you got your buying socks on today because that's what we're going to be doing. Yep. All right. Well, you driving? No, I guess so. Colton, your gas can lid stuck. Pull it. Yeah. Yeah, you, you try it. You try it. Yeah, you just got to beat on it sometimes. It's an old truck. There you go. Hey, look at look at that truck. Dang. It's a Ford. What about it? I don't know. It's pretty nice. I'm in the market for a new truck. Uh -huh. Well, too bad because that's the one we're here to buy. I guess it's your truck. No mind. I think the guy's just inside grabbing some coffee there. But uh, yeah, this is the this is possibly going to be the new rig. This chainsaw would look real nice in this door. Hey, settle down. All right, Colton's being a negative Nancy. I'm taking this thing out for a drive right here real quick just to test her out. So this is a 2018 Ford F-350 Lariat. It's uh done up a little more than we'd normally go for here, but uh, I love it. It's deleted. It's got a uh, nice back rack toolbox, bunch of aftermarket stuff, bunch of paint match. And of course, it's got all the strobe lights, bunch of other crazy lights. I love this thing. And for the price, I'm honestly getting a heck of a deal. Mid to low miles on it. It's just a nice diesel work truck, other than the wheels and tires. But, I mean, we're just doing landscaping, so, yeah, it's, it ain't going to be a ranch truck. I do like them, though. They look cool. Well, Colton, $50,000 later, you ain't the only one with a red truck now. I guess not. No, seriously, though, what do you think of it? Ah, it's pretty nice. Yeah, no, I love it. It's going to be in the new work rig. It's, it's honestly a bit fancy for a work rig. Oh, I'd never say that. Nothing's ever too fancy. Yeah, fair enough. We, we just do landscaping. <laughs> I'm sure we'll be fine. Exactly. Well, back to the yard. We got some other stuff to grab. Are we racing now? We racing now? Mine's still faster. <laughs> How was yours faster? Chevy, buddy. That's a GMC, man. Ah, same thing. Oh, the tune's not on. I don't know how to turn that on. All right, well, we're pulling back into the compound here. We are grabbing a flatbed trailer. Because yet again, we have some more stuff to buy. Now, towards the end of the day here, we have some mowing contracts to go fulfill. So, uh, since we're mowerless, we're going to have to go uh, fix that. Hold on, let me pop the tailgate. Oh, uh, do you have a button for that now? I do. Fancy, fancy. And that trailer might be getting a bit of an upgrade too. Who knows? Well, since Colton decided to be a slowpoke today, I guess I got to go shopping by myself. <coughs> oh, Colton, thoughts on the new mower? I like it. Heck yeah. I'll, I'll get the ramps unfolded so we can get that loaded up. And not just one new mower, two new mowers. Hey, gum. Yo, we're going to be mowing in style now. And you just smacked my brand new mower into my trailer, Colton. You didn't see that. All right, a little more, a little more, a little more. Hey, good. So these were the two that were in the dealership when we went to go look the other day. I think this one is the 54-inch deck, and this is the 72-inch deck or something like that. I don't know. But this is the biggest one that they make right now, as far as I'm aware. So yeah, some pretty nice mowers right here. And while we're here, we're getting a quick little upgrade on the dump trailer. And $28,000 later, I think we're sitting pretty good now. So we're just pulling back up to the house here. You may notice... I spent another $9,000 <laughs> and whatever I spent $9,000 on is in Colton's dump trailer. All right, Colton, care to, uh, care to tell what you suckered me into spending $9,000 on? Well, we got some dirt bikes. We got some dirt bikes. Not necessarily beneficial to the business, but you know, me and Colton been working hard. We need it. We need something to blow off some steam. Beneficial to having fun. Exactly. Exactly. But you now to pay for these, we, we got to get back to work. So much for enjoying them, I guess. All right, Colton, hop in. We got some work to do. So after making it across the river and into the neighborhood, we had roughly the entire block booked for mowing. So me and Colton, we're going to have some work out of ourselves. But with these brand new zero turns, me and Colton, we're going to try and make short work of this. 
However, Colton was having a fun time getting his figured out. And sure enough, within about 30 minutes of starting, we'd already knocked out four or five houses. Plus, with Colton figuring out his new mower across the street, we were now making record time. And some way, somehow, Colton would always manage to find himself on a roof. Colton, how the heck did you do? You good? Oh yeah, I'm great. How? 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 Don't ask. And then, of course, we figured out we could do wheelies. And, of course, that got out of hand quick. Yeah, get it, Colton. Thank goodness for that roll bar, Colton. Well, a little too much power for the wheelies. <laughs> you think? Let's just say we were being extremely professional. And with nearly every lawn finished in the neighborhood in record time, me and Colton raked in about $4,000. Well, not too shabby, Colton. Four grand in an hour, two hours here? That's not bad at all. All right. Time to fuel up. Colton, you want to explain to me why there was an extra 50 bucks in snacks tacked onto my fuel bill? Hey, some of those snacks better be for me. Oh, don't worry. They are. You say that now, but in 20 minutes, every single one of them is going to be gone. Well, we're back at the compound here. We got uh, another job book for today. We actually got to unload those dirt bikes out of the dump trailer because we're going to need that. Don't worry. We'll get to them later. Well, I figured the best way to test my brand new truck is to absolutely load it down with a crap ton of gravel. Yep, that sounds like a good plan. Let's roll. All right, so I stopped by the gravel pit there, went and grabbed a full trailer of rock here. And the Super Duty's actually handling it surprisingly well. It's squatting a little bit, of course, but that's to be expected. Anyway, Colton dropped off the lawnmowers. He's coming back here with the skid steer. We got to mow this property real quick, and then we'll get to work with uh, laying some more gravel down. We have a little bit right there, but uh, yeah, this needs to be fixed. So basically a while back last year, we uh, took this property. It was abandoned, full of a bunch of crap, bought it in an auction, cleaned it right up, sold it for a pretty big profit. This house ended up getting built on it, and it got built really late in the year, so they didn't have time to lay down a fresh gravel driveway. And since it's the start of the year, we're going to do that. So while Colton's making his way back here, I've got to get this mowed, because that's one of our jobs as well. Oh, Colton's back. I think he's going to hop on a mower and help me once he's done backing that in. I don't hit the house. Careful now. Nah, I'm watching. Holy smokes. Talk about teamwork here. Hey, Colton, you missed the spot back there. Yeah, I know. It's all right. I'll get it. Hey, hey, hey. It's not bumper cars. All right. It's time to lay down a new driveway. Yeah, I'm going to try my best to lay this out with here with the trailer, but oh, it's not really working that well. Come on, Super Duty. Come on, Super Duty. Oh, it's not having a good time. Okay, that works. I'm going to go grab another load. All right, we got three loads here. Colton's slowly working on smoothing it out. I think he's just sitting there on his phone right now. Oh, never mind. He's going again. I know it looks like a big mess of gravel, but trust me, there's a, there's a method here. Not sure what that is yet, but we'll figure it out as we go. Check it out. Finished. We got a $3,000 from that. Brand new gravel driveway. Lawns all mowed looking pretty good anyway we got everything loaded back up here so we're gonna make our way back to the shop and colton of course thinks this is a race well colton's getting everything washed off here but there's one more thing i've got to do pay off the remaining forty thousand dollars owing on my bank loan that makes us completely debt free and clear and i think we're sitting pretty good So pretty much almost exactly to the day a year ago i set out with zero dollars a lawnmower and a truck to build a successful landscaping business and that i think we have done we have a full landscaping setup a full mowing setup a really really nice compound and we're debt free and i don't know colton what do you think you think we built a successful business i think we did pretty good not too bad not too bad anyways work's done for the day i think it's time we break in those new bikes i think so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed watching this series as much as i loved making it let me know your favorite episode down in the comments anyways hope you all enjoyed Subscribe. Goodbye.